Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. We are live. It is Sunday night. That's right. That means that the markets are going to be opening up very soon. Actually, they already are. They just opened. We're just in time. We have JD present with us. All is one. Now is here. Good to see you. Donald in New Mexico was almost first, but slacking just a little bit. But we give him a little bit of grace there. Very good to see you. All right, Rebel Stackers here. Silver Steeler is here. Good to see you. Welcome, guys. Bill 457. Dingleberry is here. I love that name, Dingleberry. I know a few few um, uh, trolls on my channel that um, I reflect upon them in such a manner as Dingleberries, but you're probably a good guy. I appreciate you being here. Stacking Points Dove Season is here. It's good to see you. 39 watching so far, says Joey. Appreciate all those guys. And Joey is one of them. Hello, good to see you. Mm. Take a little slurp here. We've got um, Silver Shareholder is here. Good to see you. Into Oblivion. Thank you, guys. Rick is here. Silver Wolverine is here. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. All right. Hello, Nate S. Good to see you. And Gary Hughes. Yes, indeed. And by the way, you know, Silver Wolverine i got to say something. I've been, uh, part of the reason why I'm a little bit, um, was almost late was because I was responding to a, I wouldn't call this guy a troll, because uh, he's not a troll, but he's very unduly critical and harsh, and uh, and he's been on my channel too, and he's given Silver Wolverine a rough time, and there's nothing wrong with criticism for sure. I welcome it, but I think some of it's unwarranted, and uh, some people just have um, something up their butt. Perhaps it's a dingleberry. I'm not sure what it is, but we got Barbara Carbone here. Steve Rivera is here. COVID Empty Hospitals is here. There you go. Welcome. All right. Yeah, no, yeah, I promise no fibbing here indeed. Ken Kaufman, good to see you. Wings here. Refresh. Okay, let's see here. Okay, Joey had just given us the cue. We are going to refresh the site. Let's see what the markets are doing right out of the starting gate. Boom, shalaka, boom. Gold is down three bucks. The markets have just opened. The markets have just opened in Asia. Talking a little fast, getting ahead of myself here. Down three bucks. Very good. Silver's up three cents. And platinum is down. America Silver Patriot, good to see you. Yes, wow, thank you so much, my friend. America Silver Patriot, thank you. Yes, yes. He said he's got his first salivate metal round. Awesome, my friend. Very cool. And did you get that on eBay? Congratulations. Good to appreciate that. Very cool. Yeah, I'm hoping that the uh, the Celebate Metal Rounds and Two Ounces will be back available at Atmex sometime in the fall. We'll see. Um, uh, that's what they're telling us now. Skrill, Skrill a Scrow is here. Say that five times fast. I don't think I can say it one time fast. But good to see you. Olaf is here. Barbara is here. I don't know if Terry. Yes, Terry is here. Hello, Terry. Good to see you. All right. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Uh, let's check futures. Yeah, I don't know where to check the futures. Um, but anyways, yes. Hello, Mark B. Good to see you. Donald, New Mexico. Winning Image Photography is here. Along with Silver Steeler. Good to see you. Cal Caliente. All right. That means he is doubly hot. Yes, indeed. All right. And Silver Honda is here. And uh, in case you haven't, uh, in, least, in case you've been living under a rock, I will remind you all that Silver Honda drives a blue Honda. Yes, indeed. And he gave up some whoopee for my video today, which is probably the best compliment I've ever received anywhere. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, Ming Li. Hello, biatch. All right. Very good. All right. Push-ups. Okay. Let's, let's, let's tell you what. We're going to do that right now. Since dove season is here, um, in honor of dove season for his service. And by the way, uh, I would say one hi, hello to another, a new person here. Mr. V Tech is here. Hello, Mr. V Tech. Thank you. And that's really cool how he did his name there, like a different font or something. That's really wild. Trump Be Cool has made it too. So let's do 20 push ups out of the starting gate because I didn't exercise today. So let's put this in here, put this over there. Here we go. Then we'll get back to these markets and do a little comment review. How's that sound? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. All right. All right. I'm going to get those out of the way. So there's where we're at there. Very good. Appreciate it, guys. Gold Chick is here. Ozzy Alchemist is here. So here we go. So there's where the markets are out of the starting gate. Um, gold is just pushing back just slightly. But silver is up only very slightly here. So let's see what's happened now. Okay, now all the metals are down just slightly. Um, gold is down 0.36%. And silver's down 3 cents now. The only metal that's up is palladium. And it's up over 2%. Although, I don't know that that changed from New York. Let's see here. Uh, 2201, 2254. So, it did. So, palladium is the only metal that's actually coming on fairly strong out of the starting gate. Fascinating indeed. All right. Silver Steeler continues to have faith. The push-ups are real. Very cool. Thank you. Yes, at least somebody believes me here. Very good. Thank you. Hello, Pathfinder. Yeah, gold dropping like a rock, it seems. Yeah, 2,028. It did get up as high as 2060, I believe. I believe that's where it was at. Uh, the low high here. Let's see what it was Friday. 2,064 was the high on Friday. When it took that pretty big drop there. Fairly big. Still, $2,000 gold is really good. All right, let's check them in Australian dollars here. We've got gold down 960 in Australian dollars and silver down 39 down 11 cents in Australian dollars. So it's now down under $40 in Australian dollars. And platinum is down $2.70. The Canadian dollar, much the same sort of here. Movements in these currencies. We'll check those here later on. Other currencies down the road here as we as we work our way through this uh, market watch here. But part of what we do, for those just who are new here in a market watch, we do keep track of the markets and watch them as we go through. But we also um, uh, catch up with some of your comments here. And so we are going to do that here. We're going to do a little bit of comment review. Hello, Grow Mechanic. Good to see you. Ken Kenji is here. Silver Bridges is here. And Spectacular is here. Yes. Good to see you, guys. All right. Appreciate you guys being here. And that man is here. All right. Very good. And if anybody else I missed, I'm sorry. Stamos Games. Bob Often. Marketwatch.com. Okay. All right. Very cool. Thank you. Maybe I'll go back there. But, you know, the future is probably, well, I don't know. They may uh, they may be uh, off, off spread from, from these numbers is my guess. But we'll see here. All right. Uh, Gardner Earth Guy. Says on why I'm not selling my silver video. If it crosses $30, I'll dump some things. Not all, but prudent investing is to sell when you double your money. There will be a bunch of selling past the $30 if it gets there. As many are still sitting on material bought much higher and just want to walk away with a smaller loss. You know, that very well could be. And that could actually stifle its continued increase uh, because there's more silver flooding uh, the, the the marketplace here because people are wanting to Take a loss and get out. We'll see here. Eric says hello. Good to see him. Um, and uh, Freedoms asks, is this Freedom Stack or is this a correction? I don't know. I mean, you know, people says, you know, this is not a pullback. It's just a minor correction or whatever. Uh, I don't know how you disseminate those uh, terms. Uh, what would be considered, a, what makes a correction, what makes a pullback, that type of thing. Um Jules G says, sweet, even the kitty cat loves your silver. Actually, if you saw, that cat was, was believe it or not, not wanting to be there. It was, Rawr! You heard them yell at the very end there. So, it's actually a slightly different to thing. All right, very good. All right, very good. Lost for words, have no fear of lost for words is here. Very good, nice. I'm glad you're here. Um, uh, Backyard Bullion is here. Hello, Backyard Bullion. What is my magic number? It's the eight ball. It's the eight. You know the little thing, you know, you the little uh thing that tells you that the magic eight ball when you shake it and it has different things. So I guess eight, I don't know. Um unless you're talking about silver price to sell, I'm not sure. That's a good 
That's a good question. I don't know. Um, and I probably would try to do it as trading it against the ratio rather than selling it. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Because I'd want to buy gold with if I did that. All right. I wish we had a Salvia Metal Coin Club. Oh, man. There you go. Be fun. Let's slurp some coffee for Barbara. Mm. All right. Tricky Guy is here. And we didn't invoke his name. And he still popped in, which is great. Very good. All right. Good to see Backyard Bullion, by the way. Check him out. He's got a great channel. Yes, indeed. All right. Silver Ripple says, Silver, a confusing metal, a heartbreaker, and a dream maker. Yes. It sure is. People have been jaded by it and, and kept captivated by it and uh, all sorts of things. Tristan McLennan, I will never sell my silver, but I will buy things with my silver. What would I sell it for? Fiat? No, never. Okay. Now that makes sense. If people, there are some places who will um, will do trade with silver for goods and services out there. All right. And now we got Barbara Carbone says, Great vid, Sal. I love the kitty at the end. Not too impressed with your silver. That's right. You're exactly right, Barbara. This soft, and cuddly creature, which we don't know whether or not the creature is a male or female. That's not been disclosed, however. I love listening to your explanation of how you're not selling your silver. There's more reasons not to sell than there is to sell. But, of course, it's personal to us all. That's right. Also, the backdrop of your beautiful green grass is a cascades of your lustrous silver. It was a gorgeous display of nature. All around great vid. Thanks much. And another slurp for you. Well, here's a slurp for you, and then I'll respond to your comment, because Barbara Carbone's awesome. Here we go. So, uh, I must confess, though, Barbara... I picked a section of my property that was not infiltrated with crabgrass because I'm not the green um, I'm not the green thumb that it may perceive to be in this video with the grass being beautiful. So that happens to be a section of the yard that actually is not too shabby with weeds. All right, very good. Okay, that's right. Salt and cuddly angry creature says hi, Steve. That's exactly right. By the way, good to see you. Good to see silver britches. Freedom Stacker, always good to see. Winning Image Photography is great. Sal, you probably have mowed your lawn first. Yes. You know, um, I <clears throat> I think I had mowed that. Um, when did I do it last? I forget. Because I recorded that video a little while ago, believe it or not. Never metal for fiat, only fiat for metal. There you go. Pamela Rice, who is my resident secretary of the treasury. There she is. Good to see you. All right, always appreciate Pam being here. Got a good crowd with us tonight here. So we are looking at the market. And what is the market doing right now? Well, we can see that the, all the metals are down slightly. That's right, now silver is taking a slightly bigger hit. Uh, well, it's actually three times of a bigger hit than gold. But it's still well under 1% drop. But that's an 18 cent drop in silver prices. And gold is down $4.00. 0.20% there. Platinum is down a dollar and palladium is up four dollars. Fabian T is whoa. Fabian T has just joined the ranks of two other cabinet level advisors. Fabian, thank you so much. Wow, very kind of you, sir. Yes, indeed. And you know what that means? I've got to make an avatar, or I mean, not an avatar, but an emoticon for Fabian. So, Fabian, um, uh, since you don't have really a profile picture or anything like that, if you can email me at salivatemetal um, at gmail.com, we'll try to figure out something cool I can make for you for an emoticon like I did for Cyber Curtain Twitcher and uh, Pamela Rice. If one of you guys can post uh, Pamela Rice, see if you can post Cyber Curtain Twitcher is not here, but if you can post his and um, and uh, and and your emoticons. Or your your emojis that would be cool. Oh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher is here. Yes, check out Cyber Curtain Twitcher's emo uh, emoticon. We'll do that. Freedom Stacker, thank you so much for the uh, super chat, my friend. Ninety nine cent there. Thank you so much. Whoa, whoa, my goodness gracious! Someone just bought a Salivate Metal T-shirt. Wow, this this thing notified. I don't. Can you guys see that? Wow. Uh, let's see. It shows up on my side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but thank you, whoever purchased that. That's cool. Wow, very kind of you. So let's see. Okay, so Pamela Rice has posted her, so we're going to make one of those for um, 
uh, Fabian. Yeah, CCT says, of course I'm here. That's right. There you go. All right. Very good. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's see here. So let's get back here. So that's where the metals markets are going to come back to those. So, so far, they are down slightly as we continue our market watch here. We're going to come back to that here momentarily. JD says, hey, Sal, can I go metal detecting in your yard? There you go. I think you won't have any trouble lighting it up for sure. Uh, great lawn compared to my creeping Charlie plot. Great way to start the day. Hi-ho, Silver. There you go. Yes, indeed. All right. Thank you, JD. Silver High says the grass is greener on your side of the fence, but we both have shiny silver. There you go. All right. Indeed. Yes, indeed, Silver Heist. 231 watching. I think that's a number. I think that's a record, I mean. Uh, wow. Uh, very cool. And uh, Miles, Miles says we are beginning to rally. Losses are being covered. Okay, yes, thank you. Oh, Dove Season, thank you so much, Dove Season 91. I appreciate that. Very kind of you indeed. $5 super chat. Man, you guys are great. I mean, I gotta tell you, though it's very much appreciated, just you being here is definitely more than I can ask for. So thank you so much, guys. This is wonderful. All right, very cool. And uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, Jack Daniel says, I have some of those Geigers, Monarchs, and Engelhard bar bars you have. Very cool. Yeah, I love those things. I love the Geiger bars, especially the old school ones here. Tricky Guy says, if you wear a salivate metal t-shirt, your upper thigh hairs will be on full display. We see, that's right, exactly. I strategically did that. Um, made sure that the t-shirt does not cover the genital area so that the... Um, thigh hair show. I made sure it's exactly right. Um, all right. And notice that there's no salivate metal uh, thongs for sale yet either. Although if we did have one, we'll make sure Terry gets one. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see here. Silver's still on fire. And we're going to come back to here momentarily. Tessa Cunningham. Very nice of her to stop by. She says, I find it odd that White House admits that pretty much one all death counted as the virus, which is 98% survivable. It's not an epidemic. If they have to pad numbers to keep people in fear. Bill Gates even admitted did a video that only 14 deaths out of 100,000 people will die from this virus and says the tests are garbage. But he has decided that we needed to be locked down and vaccinated because of the 0.0041% deaths. Yeah, so they're yeah, going on to that. And I, I certainly, and again, make no mistake, because people miss, people oftentimes think that when I talk about the coronavirus said that I'm like for everything the media tells me about it. No, I'm not. Um, I don't believe the numbers either. Obviously, people are getting very sick from this. Obviously, people are dying from it. And Telecrack the coin medic posted a video. He's a member of this community and he's a young guy and his brother died from it. It's very real. And also so did um, 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 Herman Cain. And Herman Cain was my guy for president when he ran. That was the guy I was wanting to be president. And uh, and he passed away from it. So it's a very real thing. But at the same time, uh, the number of deaths and everything like that in regard to people have got to just use common sense with this virus. Um, but it is being politicized. And that's Tessa's point, And I do agree with that. All right. Very good. So let's move on ahead here. And we've got uh, MV, the Silver Clown. I'm still buying. Building the stack keeps on stacking 2020. There you go. All right. Very cool. Okay. Let's see here. And uh, Bullion Addict, Sal, stack it high and hold it tight. There you go, brother. All right. Yes, indeed. Gold Maple here is here. Good to see you, Gold Maple. Michael Sorrell says, there comes a time when all of us need our savings in silver and gold much worse just to survive and hopefully enough left over to change our situation in life. There you go. All right. Nice. Okay, let's see here. And we've got uh, Richard R1234. I'm quite attached to the few coins and bars that I own. I plan to leave that for my children when I die. And that is it. There is a generational legacy for many people with silver. They want to pass it down to their uh, to the next generation, and that's admirable for sure. Eat tally your fish. Eat all of your fish. Says as soon as trading starts later today, it's crossing thirty dollars. No problem. Mark my words, it's coming. So saith the fish. Well, fish. Let's see if the fish speaketh. Here are the markets right now, and it does not cross that threshold as of yet. In fact, it's actually opening up down for both gold and silver. All right, very good. And uh, so yes. That is where it is at now. So a, a continuation of what we saw on Friday with the numbers going down because you think about it, the Asian markets have digested the employment numbers 
uh, and everything that have come from the United States and where things are. And if they see that the U.S. is um, has a chance of recovering from this, well, uh, that's going to reflect upon the markets, I feel. However, as I mentioned in prior videos, obviously, with the... Um, with the little bit of good news we have here and there, there is a, certainly a lot of concerning uh, um, situ. There's a concerning uh, data out there that's up, you know, with regards to spending, debt, and um, and other areas of the economy that are not quite so good. The housing market here is okay though for now. All right, let's see here. Okay, where are we at? Let's see here. Let's move back up to some of these comments, and we're gonna we're gonna revisit this market watch, uh, the the markets as they move, because sometimes we see some very interesting things happen in the marketplace or in the markets um, on these Sunday night market watches. So we're gonna be on the lookout for that, for sure. Anthony G says silver is a long term hold, is an important principle I learned right off the bat. I went into this for ten year mindset back in two thousand and fourteen. It's still a long term hold though. I see it now as a short-term hold. For 12 months, gold has become, become its greatest bull run in history, but it's still in the very beginning stages. Um, we won't see the bigger impact in PM prices till 2021. It was long-term hold, but I'd say now it's a short-term hold. Did we stack long-term to get the window of opportunity and just let it close? And did we stack long-term to get that opportunity and take advantage? Silver is a short-term hold for me as I've adjusted strategy given the problems I'm seeing worldwide. Um, yeah, and as uh, Casey Flynn says, I think that's a good idea there to adjust as the situation arises. I think people like Silver Wolverine has done that. He's adjusted as situations arise, and um, even from the stuff maybe he had said before, it made sense for him to sell his silver at a certain time. And he had no idea what was going to happen with silver. Hindsight's always twenty twenty, but uh, yeah, but it's a good comment there. Uh, speaking of Silver Wolverine, he says here, I just uploaded a video. Bank of America says $50 an ounce silver. At that time, I can jump off that ledge. There you go. Wow. Cool. All right. Yeah. Check out Silver Wolverine's channel, you guys. He's got a great channel. And um, indeed. All right. By the way, hello, Funktad for selling. Good to see you. Actual scientist is here. Bob Often is here. Rob Bird is here. All right. No inflation. Ground beef is normally $13 a pound. Yeah. And just goes to show you that uh, they say that a lot of the um, uh, a lot of the things with the um, uh, with inflation adjusting certain areas like beef, milk prices, and the like, and depending on where you live, they're going up, and they're, the dollar has lost ten percent of its value in the last three or four months. Here, junior miners, um, Fabian asked for uh, thoughts on tomorrow's junior miners up or correction. And I don't keep track with the mining sector, and I know that I guess that's stocks or whatever. And but my guess is uh, it may not change a whole lot. As my guess, it just depends on the company. But uh, we'll see. But good question here. Uh, T Gnosis, health, wealth, and happiness to you all. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Health is the most important thing in family, for sure. Okay, let's get back to some of these comments, and, we're, and then we're going to check in here momentarily with the markets. Bozo says, hey, Sal, I sold 30% of my silver the other day at a very nice profit. Thanks to dollar cost averaging into it, I'll start buying again when prices drop, and I'm sure it will be much cheaper next year. Well, there you go. Now, it's always a bit of gamble, but, you know, Bozo could be right, um, and then he will be the smartest man in the room um, for doing that. So, yeah. And Dikini Woman says, what if it's higher next year, he'll sell another third. And that kind of tiered selling is what uh, um, another member of our community had done as well, Call Silver. Adam Dunlop says, Sal is the best, can't agree more. Silver is way undervalued. I'm not stacking for my main asset class, but it's a nice hedge. Very cool. Thank you. And again, I don't fault anybody for selling their silver um, because people have different reasons for doing it, as I mentioned in the video. Funk Dad says, what are your guesstimations on precious metals in the near future? Oh, let me take a little bit of time for that one. Um, you know, I don't know. I've funked at, I've made predictions before, but I don't make them uh, for anything other than just a, uh, uh, a hunch. Um, 
But my feeling is, is that both precious metals will go up. And I believe the gold to silver ratio may narrow a bit more, but it will not narrow greatly. In other words, I don't see it really getting past um, um, 60 to 1 in any time in the near future. And in fact, that may even be a pretty bold uh, estimation if it even gets anywhere that close. But uh, that's kind of where I'm seeing it, but I don't know what... I'll, I'll go ahead and say that with these little pullbacks that we're seeing in corrections, I think it will turn the other way. And I'm seeing perhaps $2,100 gold in the near future and uh, perhaps $32 silver in the near future. But that's just a guess. I'm, in a sense, pulling those numbers out of my hat. I don't take my, uh, uh, my predictions seriously. I very well could be wrong. Tricky Guy says in the chat, what's your sell point? When do you unload some of your stack to take the risk out of it? Uh, is it a flaw in collecting numismatically in that you can't just sell off bullion? That's exactly what it is, Tricky Guy. Really, that's the major driver. That is a flaw in me because um, there are some generic pieces, as I mentioned in this video, um, why I'm not selling my silver. There's some generic pieces that I bought because I like them. And they have no numismatic value whatsoever to them. That is a major driver why I don't, well, that's a major driver why I don't sell emotionally. Now, the reason why I don't sell um, um, logically is because I do feel that even though I do have faith in the dollar, um, even though obviously it's losing value by design by 2% each year, I, um, um, I feel that silver, even silver, as volatile as it's been, is a safer bet than the dollar right now. That's why silver is going up. But two years ago, the dollar was probably a safer bet than silver. Well, it was. Uh, like I said in the video, and I've said many other times in videos, uh, there are times when silver performs above the level of inflation and times when it sounds below, when it performs worse than the level of, infl of inflation. I hope that makes sense. But good question, tricky guy. All right, let's see here. And uh, here we go. Markets are there. Oh, Funktad, thank you. All right, so Funktad agrees with my guesstimations. Cool. Thank you, sir. I may have very well could be wrong, but that's just a guess. Um, but, you know, I'm not one of these guys that thinks, thinks that silver is going to go to $100 in the next year or anything like that, or, or that silver or that gold is going to go to 3000 although right now you know, most people wonder as fast as it's been going up. But anyways, uh, so here's where the markets are now, folks. Uh, now, what we're seeing um, here is exactly what I've been talking about, and, and a lot of people understand this, but for those of you who don't, this is why I have more focused on gold than silver. We're seeing the second day now, over the course of the span of a weekend, a pullback in the precious metals, or is this a correction? You decide. The race to gold to silver ratio, though, look, is still relatively tighter. It hasn't really changed a whole lot. It's 72.4. But silver is performing worse now. So in other words, silver is taking a bigger loss, almost three times of a hit than gold is right now at this very minute watching these markets out of Asia. So silver is now uh, barely hanging on to $28 in the ask price. It's below it in the bid price. Gold is, is a down $10.60, down to 2025 During the course of this live stream, we may see gold go to 2000 or below. If it does, I'll do 20 more push-ups. All right, very good. Fabian, that is a hilarious. Biden for nursing home. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hilarious. Oh, but wait a minute. Uh, you guys, I don't know, because Barbara has just told me that nobody's listening. I had no idea that you weren't listening to me. Dang it. Wow. Sell 2020. I'll do 2,000 push-ups. Um, no, wait a minute. No, scratch that from the record. I got to edit this out. I will not do 2,000. I'll do 20 push-ups if gold goes down below uh, $20. But you know what I should do? Is dove season still here? Since it's 2025, you know what that means. 25 push-ups. Here we go. All right. 25 push-ups. 1, 1,000. 2, 1,000. 3, 1,000. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There we go. 
I didn't stretch because I got a market watch to do, but normally I would stretch. All right, very good. Calm down. I better calm down. Hello, Silver Bean Counter. Good to see you. By the way, you guys definitely should check out... Number one, you should check out Silver Bean Counter's channel. He's been stacking a long time. The man knows his stuff about the markets and has visited a local coin shop recently. They had some great stuff. Posted a video on that. And you should also check out Silver Britches. Now, his channel's been doing great. He's uh, really knowledgeable, Got shows some really cool stuff. So check out Silver Britches, too. Good to see Gold Chick. And Dub Season has done them with me. Very cool. Tomoko's Enterprise, good to see you, sir. Welcome. All right, welcome to you. So there's where the markets are right now, guys. That's very interesting and fascinating to see. These metals on their second day taking a little bit of a hit. So we'll come back to that here momentarily. Kendall Kid says, of course you're not Uncle Sal because you have 22.34 million ounces. Oh, man. Well, no, I um, definitely don't have... Anywhere near that, but thank you anyway. Boy, that'd be nice. If I had even even a quarter of that or even a tenth of that. Calvin Cooper says, good morning, Sal. Good morning to you, Calvin Cooper. Appreciate it. Darren Leonard says, I like the ideas in the comments. Using silver as a bartering tool. By the way, great video, Sal. I feel you're on the track. Thank you, Darren. Yes. And I actually posted a series of videos. They weren't really washed a whole lot, but it was a... It was called Silver and HTF, and I thought they were um, interesting. I kind of outline uh, how silver will be used potentially in an SHTF scenario. There's three videos in that playlist. If you guys are interested, to check that out sometime. All right. In fact, you know, one thing I've started out new um, uh, on this channel is uh, go back to a uh, an earlier... Um, an earlier video or, or you know I point out to an earlier video or playlist to check out so I'm going to do that now I'm going to post it in the chat side here for you guys let me see if I can define a way to do this here bear with me here I'm going to find out how to do this or maybe one of my moderators can do it um, maybe if, if you guys can do that for me I'd appreciate it if one of my moderators can find the playlist Silver and SHTF uh, and post it in the uh, in the chat side here, because uh, I think that's an interesting uh, series uh, where they, where they talk about that. Very good. So, anyways, all right. So there we go. All right. Xenophon says, "You know your stuff, Sal. It's not money, though. It has never been money. Ooh, the nearest thing to money it has been historically is as circulating currency. Currency currency is not money. Well." Currency can be money, though. That's the thing. Currency definitely can be money. In fact, I'm going to make the argument in a future video on why the dollar, yes, that's right, why the dollar is money. That's right, that little paper dollar. Let me find my little dollar bill here, the dollar bill, y'all. I'm going to make the argument in an upcoming video why this is money. Stay tuned for that. But silver has been used as money for thousands of years. And uh, I call it hibernating money. So in other words, it's not being used as currency now, but just because currency is not, just because something has not been used as currency, does not mean that it's not money. And the definition of money is something that is, uh, is, uh, is something that we've got to kind of uh, wrap our heads around. And that's why I'm gonna make the argument in an upcoming video why this little, and by the way, this is not paper. This is cotton. This is a form of cotton. Is money. And I know it's going to blow the minds. I know some people, I know Fat Vegan, I know he's saying, no, no. Yes, the dollar is debt. That's true, Tim Dog. The dollar is debt. It's a promissory note. Uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be a controversial take. And uh, I want to try to word it the right way. But uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, yes, indeed. All right. Coin Hound, by the way. You guys should definitely check out CoinHound. You want to talk about somebody that knows this stuff about the Constitution and about history, uh, check out CoinHound's latest video. Yes, indeed. Super impressed with that guy. Wow. Uh, that's right. Silver Britches, exactly right. 
That's right. <laughs> Barbara Carbone, that's right. Says, don't argue, Sal. Make peace. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. All right. You know, I don't like to argue just for the sake of argument. I, I don't want to do that for sure. But anyways, all right. All right. Let's see here. Let's get back up here to the comments. Veronica Stack says, seems to me the problem with selling now is then what? You got a bunch of fiat and now what to do with it? It's a depreciating asset and the other possibilities don't look good. Stock market is overinflated, bonds, zero housing, market sticks. So I'm holding and expecting it to go higher, though it might not. You know, Veronica, you make a very good point. However, I will say this and I might use, oh, thank you so much, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. There is the link. See Cyber Curtain, Curtain Twitchers post the link to the playlist of the um, um, uh, Silver and SHTF. Uh, Silver and S SHTF. And um, all right, very good. Thank you. Let me see here. Let me. I'm going to actually open that up because I might. Oh crap! It just opened. Uh, uh, he posted the uh, the part three video, not the shoot, not the whole list, and actually. When it did that, it opened up in the same window. So I don't, I'm not seeing your chat stuff now. I'm going to reconstitute this chat. I'm not seeing them. Bear with me here for a second here. All right. I'll need to find that link to the playlist. All right. Is that it too? Let me see. Let me open this up in a new tab here. Uh, there's part one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Silver and S8. So there's Eric posted the part one video. I don't know how to post a link to the playlist. But uh, anyways, but thank you guys. I appreciate it. All right. Very good. Um, so, uh, okay. Let's do a colonic. Let's do an MMA matchup. By the way, you missed my spam call, scam call, scammer call on Friday when did an MMA matchup uh, email address. So Congressman Jim Jordan and Matt Getz, Gates versus the entire death metal band Cradle of Filth. You know, as much as I like death metal, I'm going to have to give this one to Jim Jordan and Matt Gates. Now, I don't know a whole lot about Matt Gates, but I know Jim Jordan was a former wrestler and wrestling coach in Ohio. So, yes, indeed. Hello, Mr. Roman. Good to see you. So, definitely going to give it to those two gentlemen for sure. Heroes. Guys are great. All right. Now, uh, Ninzim AZ. Sell my silver. Are you crazy? The only silver I will sell is SLV. So, back to Veronica's point is some people may decide to sell in order to take an opportunity to uh, narrow their debt or to pay off something um, so they don't have that debt on them anymore. Uh, so that could be one reason why people do it. Okay. The cat, says James Knight. There you go. Yep, you saw the cat. Thanks, James. You saw the cat. Shane Weimer says, I'm selling mine for stupid prices on eBay. All right. Well, there you go. Good job. I mean, if you can profit from it and, you know, make it work for you. Um, you know, we'll see. Uh, Ninzim AK says, uh, hear me, hear me. When Yeesus returns after the beast being defeated, GSR will be one to seven. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Listen Well says, hey, I'm getting close to my WH and any playlist play will be greatly appreciated. All right, man. Well, there's a playlist uh, on my videos I've talked about earlier, Silver and SHTF. Um, yes, indeed. So, very good. All right. Uh, Silver Wolverine, I love Jim Jordan, but who will be VP, Biden's VP mate? Susan Rice. And it's going to be either Susan Rice or Kamala Harris. I predict that's going to be Kamala because uh, they don't want to get anywhere near this spying scandal. Uh, and Susan Rice would just blow it all up again uh, that they did because she was right in the thick of it. So I think they're going to pick Kamala. What's the effect of no payroll taxes? Because uh, that is what this is Trump proposing to suspend the payroll tax. Is that what his executive order is? Um, well, it'd be a lot less revenue under the government for sure. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get back to the market watch. What are happening right now? Appreciate you guys being here, by the way. I, this is my most ever viewers I've ever had on a live stream. So I better behave. Uh, let's see here. Okay, gold is up seven down. I'm sorry, down $7.50, $7.10 now, a 0.35% a drop. And the silver is uh, recovered some of its losses, but it's still down a quarter, $28.18. Very good. Mr. VTech, 
That's pretty cool. How strong the celibate metal. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah. I'm not that strong. To, I'm not as strong to be able to create those cool characters like that. That is really neat. Especially how you did it with your name. That is ingenious. Stop, stop rolling us up. That's right. Exactly. Warren. Some of the things Warren might be. I'm sorry. I'm missing a whole lot in the chat here. Um, I've just been reported by Terry. Guido Stacken. Thank you, Guido. You're the man. Uh, Guido has got some really popular videos he's posted, and he's done all of his popular videos without once saying his own name. Man, that's super impressive. Man, all right. Sal, give give Sal some thumbs up. Thank you, Lawrence. Appreciate that. Miles Miles is responding to your comment right now. Thank you. Okay, got the link right there. Here's the playlist for the SHCF. Thank you. Thank you, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. You are the man. There it is. And so I'll have that handy too, Silver and SHTF. Oh, in part two, there's a gun in there. There's a gun in part two, guys. And that gun in that video in part two, I'll, I'll give you a hint, guys. Here's the thing. That gun in part two, it's easily triggered. Easily triggered gun. It's got a hair trigger, in other words. You know what I'm saying? It's got a cat hair on it, so it's, it's a cat hair trigger. All right, very good. 284 watching. Thank you, Native Stacker. All right, let's see here. Appreciate you guys. All right, uh, breaking. Hillary Clinton tested negative for president of the United States. <laughs> she sure has. All right. Although that broke in 2016. Silver Wolverine, Susan Rice will be safer for moderate Dems. I'd rather see Kamala Harris because I think she's better for Trump re-election. Yes. Yes, indeed. Mm. Oh, yeah, I forgot to slurp. Uh, Althea de la Croix, Sal is a bad boy serpent. Here we go. Let's slurp it. Fat Vegan, thank you so much for that super chat. Mr. Roman, all right, uh, $5 for five slurps of coffee. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to do them all in sequential order. Here we go for Mr. Roman. Thank you so much. Here we go. That's one. And I'm not going to shortchange these slurps either. That's two. I'm doing uh, them uh, methodically here. Three, hello, Youper Man. Good to see you. Bodie, Bobby Darnell, good to see you. Four, and then finally, here's five. Thank you so much. Okay, Rocky's got to go. Rocky Superstar, thank you so much for being here, my friend. Have a good night. Always good to see Rocky. He is always quick to... Uh, Keep um, Silver Honda on the on the on the up and up to make sure that he gets first or why he doesn't get first. I'm wondering where he's at. Not selling silver says clean life. Very good. All right, thank you. Let's so move on up here. We're gonna come back to this markets just momentarily. You guys, hang on. We lost a couple of people from the slurps. Sorry about that. But if you're new here, it's what I do. I have a cup of coffee and I like to slurp on it. I know it's rude, but it's kind of part of the shtick. We don't never want to short slurp. That's right. Very good. Uh, the Kitty Woman says, Sal, I am laughing. I saw Cranky Kitty at the end there. She, oh man, everybody assumes that this cat is a female. I don't know. Uh, there's, It's a trade secret, the uh, the actual sex of the animal, the furry creature. Uh, didn't want to be in the movie with all that luscious silver. I love the way the Geiger bars are so beautifully finished. I dream of having one of those bigger ones. And I do have the Geiger Square bar. Cool. All right. I've got one of the one-ounce Geiger Squares, but it'd be cool to have one of the larger ones. What's worse, hair of the dog or hair of the cat? Hmm. That's a tough one. I think hair of the dog. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways. Uperman. Hey, good to see ya. Okay. Let's see here. Moving on up. Uh, Ral Turkey 38 says, nice pile in the grass. Always enjoy seeing your display, Sal. I'm not selling. Hell no. I just bought 30 ounces last week. The highest price I ever paid per ounce. But that doesn't matter. Almost time to start a new box. My first box is nearing 400 ounces. It's been fun. Thanks, Sal. Yes, I I did I did buy an ounce of silver for my collection recently. And paid $42 for it. And it really should be just better bullion. But I had to. But it came with the caps. I was like, eh, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. But anyways, okay. Yeah, Rocky Mountain Bear. I didn't make a comment about that. I saw it. I didn't. I I was good. Rocky Mountain Bear. Now, who dreams of having a larger one? All right. Okay, let's see here. You guys, I, nice crap video, Sal. Thanks, Bill457. I appreciate you. Metal Bum says, love the display. Let's explore. I'm not selling either, especially now that my Celebrate Metal round 
but I might trade silver for gold if the GSR goes below 45 in increments. Yes. Um, I'm, I might trade some of it if it gets down below 50. I'm thinking about it, but we'll see. Let's get back to the market. What is the market doing right now? For those of you who aren't familiar, uh, I do a market watch every Sunday, and that's what you're watching right now, where we analyze just and kind of keep track of uh, the markets as they open up in Asia. And sometimes we get some pretty interesting things that happen, either by way of a glitch in the system or a real move one way or the other in precious metals prices. And right now we are seeing a continuation of what happened Friday based largely off of economic data that uh, was published on Friday. And also uh, Trump has uh, signed an executive order uh, for some um, uh, for, you know, extending payroll uh, or implementing a payroll tax holiday, apparently, and some other things to help uh, uh, keep people from being evicted and other things to help get people through this extending unemployment to, to an extent here. So we'll see how it plays out. But the markets are down a bit, 0.37 for, for gold, 0.78% for silver, and platinum down 0.21%. Uh, Fabian says, based on your experience, which are best online bullion dealers buyback prices, or do you just do local dealers? Well, because I really don't sell, um, I don't know. I've not checked it out. But a lot of these bu online bullion dealers are paying even up to a dollar above spot for generics. I do know that because I did talk to one recently. For eagles, up to $4 um, for silver. And for gold, uh, probably at or near spot, maybe a little bit above, possibly. Um, but if I were to sell, I would go to local dealers. And I might actually ask them this week because I have another video coming out that's going to be talking about uh, somebody who would ask me a question about that. So we shall see. Very good. Uh, again, all you guys popping in here, I appreciate you all being here. I apologize if I don't um, address you each individually, but make no mistake, I appreciate you guys being here, uh, definitely, uh, for sure. And if you want to get my attention or ask me a question, if you type my name out or put at and it pops up there, it'll turn orange or uh, and then I'll be able to see it and that'll probably attract my attention. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to answer your question there. Very good. So let's get back here. So there's where the markets are down slightly all around, continuing a little bit of the drop that we saw on Friday. But make no mistake, uh, somebody criticized me for putting that title in my Friday's video about the market, the, the prices pullback. You know, and they said, well, they're up. You know, it's over two thousand dollars an ounce. Yes, I'm talking about just for the day. I'm not talking about for the week. I'm not talking about for the last two weeks. All right. So here we go, Mr. V Tech. Did you know my butt cheeks are still together after all these years? All right. That means that Mr. VTech can, has just proclaimed himself as a tight ass. All right. Am I not mistaken there? All right. Very good. Silver heist. Uh, I'm not selling silver. Now, there, not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. The Seinfeldian nature of that video, I hope, was strong with everybody. That's right, Silver Heist. Very good. Oh, right, well, that's right. It's the Salivate Metal Slurp. Thanks, Dove Season. We got it. We can't forget our slurps for Barbara Carbone. Mm. And I've just been reminded that uh, by Native Stacker that Cheetos will also make my name turn orange. That's right. And that I'm a silver basher, <laughs> says Terry. That's right. All right. Who is in your will? Um, uh, you are. All of you, if you bend to it, Pamela Rice, that's my answer to that one. You're all in my will if you bend to it. All right. So for Wolverine, I heard most companies will hold uh, the payroll taxes back because they are on the hook for Social Security and Medicare taxes unless Congress makes a law to forgive payroll taxes. Interesting. Hmm. Hello, Media Man. All right. Very good. Let's get keep going here. So let's get back to these channel comments here. Native American says, only sell your silver once a dollar is dead. If you need to sell on the ride of its death, dollar cost average out. And that's kind of what some people who do who, who are, are doing it a little bit at a time for sure. Understandable variant for sure. Hastur of Carcosa, I've stacked racks and racks of the Geigers. When your order numbers are high enough, vendors... Just say, screw it, and send you the crate. To be honest, brother, I have yet to see the mining stocks validate this recent run. I'm not selling a single grain until I see that. It happened in the 80s and the 90s and again in 2011. 1,700% uh, spikes in equity value so far, every 30 plus. 
Everything is just a story. Show me the money arrives. Yeah, and that's kind of uh, uh, referring back to kind of what Fabian had talked about too. And I don't keep up with the miners, but that might be something to look out for and see what's going on there. I just don't know enough about it. To me, looking at the mining stocks, it's like you have to kind of know about the stock market too. Uh, all right. Author Martinez is here. By the way, uh, eat all of your fish is here. Hello, good to see you, fish. Welcome, my friend. Thanks for popping in. And Chuck Amplata is here. Good to see you. Author Martinez, curious, you smoke with that voice rasp. Uh, well, no, I do not smoke unless you mean on guitar. I, no, I'm kidding. No, I don't even smoke there. Uh, but no, no smoking here. No smoking here. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Cybercurrent Twitcher. Very kind of you indeed. Uh, the it's, it, this is a series of video called Silver and SHTF or SHTF and Silver, and um, um, it's wanted to kind of because I think it's kind of apropos for today's what's going on today and kind of give you an idea of what that was going on. It was a series of video I posted out there for a while. I may actually let me do this. I'm going to post the link up here. Uh, let's see here. Let me put it right here, just for a moment. There it is. This is the playlist, and SHTF and Silver. If you get a chance to watch those videos, I think it kind of gives you an idea of how the role Silver will play, even more so than Gold in an SHTF scenario. But thank you, Cybercurrent Twitcher, for that. Now let me get to my back to my boilerplate stuff. Let's go through a couple more channel comments. Is this what we like to do in between the market watch is we'll answer some viewer comments on this live stream. That's part of what it's about, too. Uh, Ajito Makashima says Geiger and Ingleheart are, so, are rare, so why do you say they wouldn't have a premium? Well, what happens is the premiums, uh, silver gets so high, especially if you go to a local coin shop. If you were to sell some of that stuff, they're not worried about collectability and rarity. And almost doesn't make a difference for that stuff. So they're just going to pass it off as bullion. I've seen that time and time again at my, at my LCS. Where I've gotten some pretty interesting bars for a relatively close to, pot, to spot. And that's even before that's even before the uh, um, the pandemic and these higher rises of price. But great question though, and G2, I appreciate that. M. Nice says, it looks like you just dug it up out of the backyard to have a good look at your silver. What's up with the grass? Uh, well, uh... Blades. The blades are what's up with the grass. I gotta blame it on the blades. Why? Because they're blades of grass. I've got a, a voice for MPT4 and coins A to Z. That's hilarious. Whoa! Oh my goodness gracious, I missed a super chat. Steve Rivera. Wow, thank you so much, Steve. Man, very kind of you. Man, very kind of you indeed. You know, guys, I may. I still have not counted up the, uh, the super chat from the last three, the super chats from the last three lives, I very well may have enough money now for that equipment. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, there we go. All right. Where do you think platinum is going? Well, it did get over a thousand dollars fairly recently here, and I think it will still get above that. Um, but I think it might still be at two to one with gold for quite a while. Uh, not even mushrooms. No, not even mushrooms. Salivate. Yes. Uh, Thank you again for that, uh, Steve Rivera. Very kind of you indeed. Okay. All right, thanks, Dubs. He's, he's going to check out those videos later. Uh, okay. Where are we at? Okay. Jay and Blaine and Provin are almost out of silver bars. Silver is hot. Yes, they sure are. But you know, there's a lot of silver moving too, believe it or not. Even though they're out for now, they'll get more. Make no mistake. They will get more. As supply chains start to come together... They will uh, get more, and some of these bullion companies are literally, um, they are literally um, profiting up five times from what they were making before. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Stacking Kid is here. I'm trading 35 ounces of silver for platinum on Tuesday. Trading silver for platinum. There you go. Terry has just informed us that we've got 313. Well, so 309 now. Thank you guys for checking out. This uh, market watch, what we do, appreciate you being here. This is the most I'm, viewers I've ever gotten on a live stream ever. So I appreciate it. I'm honored and humbled that you're here. We're checking out these markets and uh, 
Yeah, that's what we do here. Let me thank a silver hair stacker first for the super chat. Thank you so much. Any little, you know what? I appreciate it, but whether or not you super chat or not, just you being here is more than I asked for. But thank you, silver hair stacker. Very kind of you indeed. All right. So here we go. So the markets are um, down. They're extending their losses just slightly from Friday. And we look at the markets as they open up in Asia, which is 6 o'clock Eastern time here in the United States. And the markets have opened up. It's Monday over there. Uh, so their markets are in full swing. And so far, it's rather tepid. Um, and this is an indication of what they may be as the London markets open up and New York opens up. So we'll see how this plays out. Have a good night. Uh, Let's see here. Silver Honda says, have a good night. Please, Sal, talk louder during this live stream so I can listen to it. I'm going to finish making Whoopi. All right, there you go before she changes her mind. All right, we don't want that happening. Uh, give her a hug and a kiss for me in the midst of all that. That would be nice. I'd appreciate that. And yeah, 313 with nothing better to do. That's right. You guys are great. All right, thank you, Silver Honda. Appreciate you being here. The Saint is here. Appreciate you. Stack Stack Save UK is here. Gold is King has been for 5,000 years. Amen to that, brother. I agree with that completely. All right. All right. So there's where the markets are. Uh, gold, silver, platinum down uh, here a bit. And uh, so we're going to come back to those momentarily. Joey says, unprepared people are selling their gold and silver jewelry and getting ripped off because they don't know anything about pricing, but only how they need the money. That's true. They got to be very careful selling that stuff. Because jewelry, especially, people can get ripped off for. Uh, you got to be very careful there. And I've ruined the reputation of Terry. I apologize for that. The time of Troy. Whoa. Wow. $49.99 from the time of Troy. Thank you so much, my friend. Man, you guys are great. That brings me... I get, if I'm not three quarters of the way there after these last couple days and live streams, I've, I, I don't, I'd be very surprised. So, man, very kind of you indeed. Thank you so much for that. Very kind indeed. Again, just so you guys understand the Super Chats, um, what happens is YouTube takes 30% and then taxes take another 20% or so. So that's why I had to kind of recalculate back because I forgot about that stuff. Um, and so that's why uh, my estimations when I said I was getting really close to a half, I didn't take into account all that stuff. But anyways... But even now, still, that's that's going to get me much closer to it. Very cool. And I appreciate you guys. That is something I'm going to unbox for you guys when, when I do get it. Because it's going to be probably the biggest investment in the channel that I've made besides the computer uh, that I got. Um, so, yes, indeed. But it'll probably be the biggest investment that you will, quote, see, so to speak. But we'll see here. All right, let's see. But thank you, Ken. All right, so moving on up here. All right. So uh, PJPJ says, I think silver is also a tier one asset. Well, PJPJ, that's an indication, uh, uh, a designation from the Bank of International Settlements. But it is not a tier one asset by any central bank. It Silver is not stored uh, by any central uh, government. Well, I'll tell you this way. As a strategic financial class, it is not stored. Does not mean it's not valuable. Does not mean it's not money. But it's definitely not a tier one asset. But thank you. All right, let's see. But very interesting to see what central banks think of it, though. Metal Bum gives me a little kitty there. He saw the kitty in this video. Carl Sittler says, I'm not selling because it isn't $1,500 per yet. All right, so it's going to be, he's going to be waiting quite a while to sell uh, for sure. All right, Pepe is the man, says Mr. V Tech. I got to tell you, I don't know much about Pepe. Is that Chan 4? But. Uh, I will say this. I love how they trolled the all your, um, uh, he will not divide us people. You remember when they did that? I thought that was great. And, uh, all right. And, uh, we have just been correctly assessed here from Barbara Carbone that I'm on speed. I'm kind of all over the place here. There's a lot going on. So I apologize for that, for my scatterbrainedness. Full Push Metal says another slurp worthy production sound. That ending was superb. Thanks, my friend. I tried to make nice with the kitty, with the silver, but it wasn't happening, was not happening in there. Just Google New Electrics, okay? Google New Electrics, Joshua Goodso, I will do. Fabian T, no way. Wow. Man, maybe you can order sooner. Nice videos, nice live stream, nice work, Sal, says Fabian. Man, that is incredible. 
Wow, thank you, sir. Dude, I am, you know what? If I'm not, if, if I got to do the math on this stuff now, if I'm not, if I'm not 80 to 90% there by now, I don't know. I think, um, uh, I think that, yeah, I'm probably over. I tell you what, I'm on the, on the risk of, on the risk of, um, me actually being over because I don't know. Uh, don't send any more super chats for that, just in case. And if anything different, I'll cover the difference of it. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. Wow. Okay, uh, Vanessa says that um, 4chan, Pepe, was, is now a symbol of resistance against the regressive left. Okay, yeah, okay, that's very good. Uh, showing money to him. There you go. All right. Mm. You guys are great. Quit reading my comments, says, oh, I'm sorry, Donald in New Mexico. Did I miss you? Uh, I missed what you said there. I'm sorry, Donald. I don't want to miss anything Donald says. I know I missed some stuff he said, but I'm sorry. I don't want to shortchange anybody. Hello, Joey. Clapping for, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Christoph Sergomansky, I think that's how you say that. PIs add a survey and the viewers vote if they're still uh, stacking or selling. I can bet 90% keep stacking. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what stack or sell or buying this time. Mark McIntosh says, I wouldn't sell my silver if, if I had it, but I lost it all in a boating accident. There you go. You lost it in a boating accident. That's right. Likely story. That's what, that's what I'll use, too. Kalanick Stacker says, I remember seeing a video at Mike Maloney's website where they toss a roll of one-ounce rounds in the air, and they land in grass. Pretty cool. Oh, I'd like to see that video. I guess there it is. Anthony posted it, but I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I won't uh, post that. All right. Very good. Uh, Glenn D. Melt it and slurp it. The kitty don't care. Let's slurp it here. Yes, indeed. Here we go. And Mark B. is here. Good to see Mark B. I played bass uh, a lot this over. I had a gig. Last night, I hadn't played this morning at church, so my finger's a little bit sore. Monty Jones says, Sal, the queen will prove herself to you yet. All right, we shall see. In Magic says, you are creating an individual solution to an institutional problem. Ah, interesting. Okay. Very good. That's true. Thank you. Let's see what the markets are doing. What are they doing? They're not reacting to my slurps, that's for sure. They're kind of hovering down in this negative territory just slightly out of the starting gate here two thousand and twenty six dollars and sixty cents for gold down 0.45 percent down really almost nine dollars and a quarter there silver's down 26 cents and uh it's a 0.90 percent there platinum is down six dollars now this at this time using these live streams what i'd like to do is i like to kind of look at the charts here and kind of get a gauge for a pattern that we're seeing out of the starting gate with these. Just kind of look at them nominally here. And as you can see here, when you looked at Friday, they kind of came down and then kind of tried to make some of a recovery. But now, now they're working their way back down a bit here. So uh, pretty substantially for gold prices here. This is the gold chart. So you can see that making its way down. For silver, we are seeing uh, much the same. It is kind of, uh, it went down on on that Friday, and it came up here a little bit to the close, but now it's kind of opening in Asia on a downward trend here. So a very interesting movement for sure. Um, and typically what happens is the, the more dramatic movements are at near the beginning, and then there's somewhat of a recovery after that. So that's where that is indeed. All right, very good. So let us make our way back up here on this video. Rocky says last, all right. All right, Bo Poloni, I've heard of him, but I don't really know. Uh, I have to check that out. Bo Poloni says, Captain Ron Hayward, thank you. All right, I have to check that out. He says, hold that silver. So I guess I'm doing the right thing for that. Ham sandwich, just buy silver panties at the disco. There you go. Uh, you know, i got to ask Ham Sandwich this question. He's in the chat here. Um, have you ever been indicted? I really want to know. If he's ever been indicted. All right, thank you so much. Dove season is going over to visit the parental units this evening there in Arizona. 
a dove season. Do me this solid, would you? Tell your parents that old Uncle Sal says hello. Say, Uncle Sal says hi, and I'm going to see what their reaction is, okay? Maybe you can film it. That would be great. All right, very good. Thank you, Dove Season, for being here. You were awesome. Fabian says, what is the best gold or silver purchase you have ever made? Ooh, that's a good question. The best, because the best could mean a different thing for different people. For me, it's not necessarily the return on investment, per se, uh, like for instance, I'll give you a for instance on this one, Fabian. I just recently spent the most money ever on a gold coin uh, with the uh, 2020 High Relief Gold Swan. And basically that coin, if I were to buy it today, at the price I paid, would be a bullion price. But uh, So that might be considered the best. But there's, I would say the one I like the most is probably the 2009 Ultra High Relief Gold uh, double legal from 2009. The silver purchase, man, dude, I got to tell you, I'm really loving my Kilo 2015 Kilo special finish uh, one ounce silver. I mean, Kilo silver Libertad. Yeah, say that. Anyways, yeah. And there's uh, there's videos on uh, both those coins. Well, I've not done an actual video about the whole process for the ultra high relief, and I may do that in the future, but the Kilo is on there. But thank you. I may even pull those out, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Cyber Curtain's best gold purchase weren't purchased at all. He dug it up. That's cool. All right. James Gregory. I love watching Sal's videos. He got the best video. Thank you, James. Very kind of you, sir. Very, very kind. I appreciate that. Four Nines Fine Silver's here. Good to see you. Appreciate you stopping by. Silver Pirate R. All right. Video Man wants one of those 2009s. Yes. I love those coins. All right, let's get a couple more of these comments in here. Then we're going to check the markets again. Eric says, I'm thinking uh, that the right price ratio, when it feels right, I'm going to dump all of my 5 to 10 ounce bars, only my generics. I'll take half to pay ahead on bills and half will go back into gold. Now, that might be a smart move. Yes, indeed, especially since he's a new homeowner. He probably wants to get ahead of some of that stuff. Good thinking, Eric. And he's got a young son, young son, Benjamin, too. Very good. So, guys, we've got 277 watching now. I appreciate you guys being here. And 188 thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. All right. If you haven't thumbed up this video, um, if you would be so kind as to gently just hover your mouse around it, you don't have to actually click on it, but if you just hover it around it, maybe some magic will happen and it'll, you'll accidentally sneeze and then it'll click it. You know what I mean? Weirder things have been known to happen, right? Especially when we want Barbara Carbone to burn her bra. That would be pretty nice. Colorado Kid is good to see you. Managed to pick up the 1 Kilo 2020 Germania. Oh, nice. That would be nice to have. I bet that costs a pretty penny. Uh, technological unemployment says, debtor governments have no jurisdiction. Yes. Tell you what. There's not, when they're in so much debt and they go into this spending, it makes you how, see how legitimate they are, and their jurisdiction could be in question for sure. All right. Thumbs up says, listen well. Thank you so much. Over 200 thumbs up now. Appreciate you guys. All right. And I'm begging for thumbs up. That's right. There, there is a begging. That is, I confess to Terry right now in front of Terry and every single one of you that I'm begging for thumbs up. No, I'm kidding. You don't, You can take them away if you want to. I don't want to make you feel guilty. It's a passive-aggressive begging. Right? You know, Coins A to Z has got to run. Have a terrific Sunday. Thank you so much, Coins A to Z. Appreciate you so much for being here. I want a bra for my car, says Pamela Rice. Here we go. Eat all your fish, Colorado kid. I have a kilo uh, bar. On the way as we speak, Reardon Metals, interesting. Okay, that's cool. Yes, this is a bra-free zone, guys. Okay, we need to take a breather and slurp. We're going to do that, all right, while we think about bra-free zones. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Joey Bodeker says, I'd sell when I can't close my treasure chest. All right, there you go. He's still got some more to go. Silver Moore says, man, I love the vintage look of those Engelhard bars. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I, I like that kind of rusted look, too. Thank you so much. Will says, the only way I'd part with my silver if someone prized my dead cold hands off of it. Oh, wait, that's my gun. There you go. Yes, indeed, that's right, Will. Great comment there. 
as we move on up here. Now we've got Rocky Superstar says, Sal, I can see you have had one of your silver for a long, some of your silver for a long time. I like the Engelhard bars. I have a few pieces for a while too. I call them keepers. There you go. Yes, indeed. Uh, Terry says, I started stacking silver in 1929. All right, for those of you still here, to, I'm going to go ahead and post this in the description again or in the chat side here. This is a playlist. If you guys get a chance to check out this playlist sometime, this is uh, something I did uh, um, called SHTF and Silver. And uh, it, it, it basically talks about what would happen if the economy collapses and Silver's role. You'd be surprised if you watch these three videos. They're relatively short. That kind of gives you, um, uh, and you can see somewhat of a hint in it in, in, in these videos, in the, uh, in the thumbnails there, but... I think it's important to realize and see where Silver's role could play in such a scenario. So, very good. All right, let's get back here. Let me get my boilerplate stuff back again. And then we'll make our way move forward here on the Sunday Night Market Watch. Nate Palm Death, stacking till they won't take fiat for it anymore. All the way down to Barney's Greenway. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Thanks, Nate. Uh, Tristan McLennan says, My worry with gold is that central banks own hordes of it and can use those hordes to manipulate the price to suit their own needs or greed. But they own virtually no silver. Uh, oh, okay. So I feel safe for stacking silver. Chain swap for gold with the ratio of 30 uh, to 1, and you will be effectively buying gold in between $900 and $1,200 per ounce. Yeah, that's right. But Tristan, that's a good point. Actually, that might even be one of the best points, but these central banks are like, you know, the uh, uh, Fort Knox, Federal Reserve, and the Central Bank of Iran, and Central Bank of uh, Russia, and the like. Are they in the business to, for fixing the price? I don't know. I don't know what kind of role they would have in that. It'd be very interesting to see. All right. Help Sal steal from YouTube. There you go. Yeah, that's right. If you do send PayPal donation, 100% of those, if you send it friends and family, 100% of those proceeds go directly to me and not YouTube or uh, the um, taxes, which is good. But anyways, but thank you. GSR is stuck at 72. Let's look at the markets now because that's exactly right. 72, it's actually gone down a little bit here now, 72.08. And that's actually better uh, in some way for silver uh, because as it narrows, that typically means that silver is being seen as more as that hedge or being at least bought as that as, as of late we're seeing here but the markets are down um, um, relatively slightly uh, but uh, they are down uh, solidly below what we saw Friday extending losses from that but not terribly bad again we're talking about in comparison to what we saw before uh, uh, the prices have gone up way up for both metals silver is more than doubled right now and uh, gold is obviously at its all-time highs. But as is usually the case, silver, uh, when gold falls, silver falls even more. In fact, silver has exactly doubled its losses percentage-wise in gold. Good evening to Stephen Graffin. Good to see you. By the way, good to see Nose Maddox, too. Another great guy. Good to see you. Uh, God Sees All is here. I have 10 MS64 $20 gold eagles for sale. Really? Wow. Incredible. What are you asking for, uh, one of those puppies? I'm just curious, God sees all. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Fabian is right. Uh, can always move closer, uh, move to Canada with our gold. They sold all their gold, so we'll, uh, we'll be happy to see us with gold. It is fascinating. I remember when they did that, Fabian. In fact, I've heard somewhere, and I've not yet seen any evidence of it, uh, but I heard that they have 77 ounces left. Uh, but I've, somebody told me that number. I saw, saw it somewhere, but I've not been able to search and find any information on it. But I'd love to see it because that would make for a great, uh, a great, a great video to talk about that. Terry, can I send you cash? Yes, you can. But I need your address first. Yes, indeed. Or you need my address first. Uh, Whatever is fair traded in my Lotus... In cash, that's right. Okay, whatever is fair traded for my Lotus Evora. Interesting. In cash. Okay, let's see here. 
Leave the country. All right, says Terry. I need to leave the country. I need this saints. Hello, Herb Ash. Good to see you. Welcome, Herb Ash. All right. Uh, Joni uh, Tateman says, The only reason to shed some metal is to give it to other good people and not sell it. We have a rather large responsibility incoming, amigos. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Uh, LJ's Silver Astier Privateer. I'm still stacking. There you go. All right. Yes. And I am to some point, too. Uh, all right. There you go. Medium Man has taken over the gold storage for Canada. And see, uh, he is Canadian, so maybe Medium Man can help me find out that 77-ounce deal. I'm very curious about it. Frederick Applestone is, is here. Donald New Mexico is still here. Good to see you, Donald. Monkey King is here. And welcome to El Porcano, too. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. All right, where are we at? Let's get back up here. Chuck and Plata says, hey, Sal, have to run out room with museum vaults, so now you're going to bury this. Looks like your guard kitty's not enthralled about your silver. Are you paying them union wages? Yes. Something is amiss. Something is awry with that soft seek and cuddly kitty not liking the silver. There was a time when that kitty loved that silver. But anyways, but nonetheless, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Felix Kramer von Klausbruck says, don't forget... Where you bury that and send send to me for safekeeping. All right, will do. Thank you. Gooch Synthrologia says, Sal is digging a hole, a cowboy safe. That's right. Dig it in the hole. You know, bury that silver. That's right. Uh, true, or at least was. Okay, very cool. Nice. Medium man, that's a good hunk of gold there you've got. All right, let's see. Can anybody um, Can anybody interpret this Russian for me? From like stream above there. It'd be very interesting indeed. Somebody interpret that for me. And uh, then we will uh, we will have fun with like stream here. I think that's a troll. Or a, a bot or something like that. But I want to make sure. Monkey Fool says, Funny thing is bronze pennies ping, but steel pennies don't. And copper isn't even considered precious. Uh, yeah, I know. Crazy, crazy. That's right. Exactly right. Pretty amazing. All right, Cybercurrent Twitcher, I just looked up my 910 Gold Indian is going for. Okay, wow. Nice. Hope it's going for a good amount of money. Okay. Twisted Clown is here. I don't think, did we ever find out if Ham Sandwich has ever been indicted? I don't think, uh... Okay, uh, Terry has translated the message from, uh, live stream that says for me to leave YouTube. All right. It says he's crying from this stream. That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. Main Street Coin and uh, Jewelry, San Jacinto. I bought 17,234 ounces of pure, beautiful 999 silver. The lot included every type of bar and round I could find. And uh, I was the envy of all around me, including my wife, who finally said, you were right, honey. I'm so glad you spent all that money over the years including our rent money at times. Wow, it has really paid off. The problem I have with this purchase is that it was in my dreams and I couldn't will it into reality no matter how hard I tried. When I got out of bed, I come to terms with the fact that I missed the boat and don't really have enough silver on hand. And then my wife gave me the look that clearly stated I've hidden all the credit cards, locked you out of the bank account, and have notified your pastor. And don't think about it, mister. Looking forward to going back to dreamland tonight about it. Yes, indeed, we'll dream on, my friend. So I don't make it. Okay. The Russian guy said he liked your live stream. Okay, cool. Which means it probably uh, is still a... Uh, we'll see. We'll, let, we'll see what happens if the Russian dude continues to post. Because um, he probably doesn't understand English. Because he's typing it in, uh, in Russian. Which means it's probably something that wants you to go to his channel or something like that. But uh, I digress. Zilla Zilla is here. Good to see you. A Vapor says, I like the Canadian Maple Leaf. It has one more nine than American silver at 999. Yes, that's true. It is more pure, that's for sure. If you're a purist, then that's one pure thing to be pure about. Uh, political Prisoner 2. I heard from a financial expert that they expect a pullback in the silver price after vaccine is approved. 
That looks to me like it could play in with the 600 million ounces that are standing for delivery in September, according to Chris Wayne in this video. If that shutdown results in non-delivery before a vaccine is approved, then, uh, then the price will bolt to the moon for a while and then drop when the vaccine is approved. Yeah, the delivery silver is something else, and I don't know. I do believe that once a vaccine is, is announced, that there will certainly be a pullback on the silver price. Um and I'm a little bit nervous about a vaccine myself, guys. But anyways. All right, there. Mark McIntosh is here. I made the boat comment. Cool. Thank you so much, Mark. Uh, appreciate it. We've been moving on through here pretty quickly. So I'm trying to remember what exactly that was. But I did respond to it at the time. About the boat. Man, I'm, it's slipping my mind now because I've done a, several comments since then. But thank you, sir. So rewind and uh, check it out. Unless you want to repost it here if I see it. Okay, where are we at? Okay, uh, Robert Preston says, Sal, I say that price of silver on Comex is going higher and should take out $50 an ounce probably sometime in the next 12 months. If you want, call this my seventh prediction, mainly because they cannot stop printing fiat money, and they cannot and won't. I agree, they're not going to stop printing it. And normally that would bode well for silver, but you know what? We've seen it not do that after 2011. It kept going down and down, and they kept printing. And really, in a sense, they've not stopped printing. Good to see you. All right. Silver at $50 yet, says John W. No, not yet. It is not at $50 yet. In fact, let's look at the markets now. What are they doing? Uh, silver is down, but is recovering some of its losses. But it's now above $28 pretty handedly here, both in the bid and ask price. Uh, silver... Our gold is down $5.60. It's recovering some of its losses as well. It's at down 0.28%. And platinum is down $3. Palladium is the only metal that is up in the positive territory, up $16. Wow, pretty crazy. Uh, so uh, silver and palladium and gold have now broken parity. They were on par with each other for a while there, but not anymore. Palladium has taken uh, the king... Has, is the rules the ruse of precious metals, save for rhodium, which is in a world of its own. All right, there we go. Colorado Kid, thank you so much for the super chat. Says, say no to vaccines, especially this one, because it's going to be coming out so quickly, and we don't know what these uh, vaccines will uh, will do. I mean, it's uh, what kind of effects they may have. Even with these uh, uh, phase three trials they're doing, I know they're stacking them, but, you know, I've heard about people getting sick off the regular uh, flu shots, the regular flu shots. So it's just, I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about it myself, but anyways. All right, let's see here. Uh, eat all your fish. This slight dip will draw even more buyers. Wait till Monday morning. So say as fish. That might be true. Yeah, you have a good point there. If this uh, dip means that people will buy, especially if it, if, it, if, it's, if this dip is, ex, ex, is extended through the mid-morning Monday, we, we, we may see buying on the ETF uh, front and, and on the physical front that may uh, cause the price to go back up again, for sure. Let's see here. All right, very good. Uh, right, and Silver Ice makes a good point. There really has never been a vaccine for the common cold, which really is what the coronavirus is. See, this is coronavirus 19. Um, and I would just be very cautious about taking any vaccine that you're not... Uh, um, I mean, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. I'm going to let other people be guinea pigs for me before I take it. You know, I mean, that's cruel, but, uh, you know, there's one reason why people get paid to be on those trials. Not me. You couldn't pay me any amount of money to be on a clinical trial for something, if, especially if you're healthy. You know what I mean? If you're healthy, why take something that could potentially screw you up for life? You don't know. Um, anyways, all right. But that's just me. Uh, Gene Pullman says, as tempting as it is to unload my holdings, I just can't bring myself to actually doing it. I know if I did this, I'd most certainly will regret it afterwards. It takes a lot of time and effort searching all those different bullion dealers and bullion sellers, getting my stack one ounce at a time. Yes, that's true. It sure does. All right, very good. Cybercurrent Twitcher, I checked out the Russian channel. Nothing untowered, although I did get distracted watching a video of a couple chicks in the bikinis he has posted. Oh, okay, all right. 
So you think he's legitimate. Okay, that's cool. All right, thank you, CCT. Appreciate that. You with a man. And you got to see some bikinis. There you go. Were any waxing going on there? All right. Uh, Fabian says, besides your video on a 100-ounce gold stack, what is the best gold stack video you have seen to date? Junius Malfoy. You know, Junius is just great. But I got to say, there's one that tops them all in my, in my uh, estimation. It's an old one. It's an oldie buddy goodie. It is from Guppenfuhrer, something like that from like 2008 or something like that. He showed these gold coins out of this thing and showed that he had a Russian accent. It was really cool, it was really neat. That is my favorite gold video. But I did like the Junius Malfi one too. And I think it's because of uh, it's something that I, um, um, that kind of got me, uh, inspired me to kind of do the, to, uh, to, to do these videos. I think that's why. Hmm. Ah, very good. Chuck Implata says, Andy Hoffman told me back in 2011 about silver. There will always be buyers and always be sellers. I have actually recently been a seller over a 1,000 ounces. Have I did things wrong? Missed the right time to sell? Possibly made some who contacted me wonder if I really had a brain. Yes, absolutely. But it was a valuable learning experience of which I had no regrets. You, my friend, have helped me much more than I could have ever imagined. And that is the heart of Sal. So generous with this time and giving of others. I have made many great friends through your channel, Sal. I'm blessed to call you a friend. Sincere multitude of gratitude. Well, very kind of indeed. Thank you so much, Chuck and Plata. I'm glad to be able to help. And again, Chuck is one of those who uh, sold for retirement because it needed um, some funds for some expenses that were going on in his household. He's a great guy uh, and, is, uh, and I was glad to help. And I'm so glad you were able to liquidate your silver for sure. Very, very cool. Biden has Alzheimer's and he's running out, running for the highest office in the land. Yeah, you, you have to wonder if something is up with him. Uh, it certainly is a little bit scary uh, with his, um, um, you know, the fact that he seems to have some sort of aphasia, something going on there, which is a little bit concerning just for his health. Um, and uh, obviously not presidential material. And, you know, and the thing is, is that uh, I know people have criticism of Trump uh, and most people are, are not going to be voting for Biden. They're going to be voting against Trump. It just boggles my mind that of all those candidates that, that he won, um, you know, as, as far as that's concerned. But anyways, oh, well, it is. Let's see here. Slava Key says that's uh, one good amount of shiny metal, Sal. You're doing a good job. Are you planning to become a millionaire at some point in the next few years? You should also buy a pirate chest for your treasure. No, no. Millionaire is not, I know, nowhere near that level for sure. This is stuff that's been accumulated over years and years and years. And I am an amateur as far as stacking silver compared to really a lot of people in this community. There's people in this community who have bought 85 ounces in a month, you know, or what have you. People like Silver Slacker who has literally, um, probably, Two full contracts of silver now, which is like, you know, well over, uh, well, that about 14, like 10,000 ounces or so. I'm nowhere near there. Mr. Roman says, my stack is available for sale in 20 years. All right, there you go, Mr. Roman. So he's holding on there. <clears throat> Hoda Kendokin says, I spread my incoming into many investments. If I sold my gold, I'd put the money into one of my other investment vehicles. Then I'd be out of balance. I'm also not selling an asset to buy something I'll regret, like a new car. So I'm holding. I can think of a. I can't think of a single time which I sold an asset to buy a little bit of liability, short-term, self-pleasing item like a car or a big TV, etc. So I'm holding. Hell, truth be told, I'm still buying. I spent six hundred dollars yesterday on a quarter ounce, and I used to get two for that. Yes. Yep, I hear you, brother. All right. Hello, Wolfman Sachs. Good to see you, sir. Yes, indeed. Welcome, Wolfie. Good to see you, sir. He posted a video on some good coffee, which I need to check out. I'm drinking some coffee now, but it's not the cool stuff he's got. And you get some of it. Silver Slacker. Speaking of Silver Slacker, he is. He says he agrees my physical silver is also long-term hold. I only flip some stuff from time to time. Very good. Nice job, Silver Slacker. 
And this guy is no slacker when it comes to stacking silver, for sure. What do you suppose Trump meant when he said, you won't see me for a while? I did not see that. I've not, actually, this weekend has been so busy, I've not really paid attention to the news, but I did not see that. No, I don't know. In what context was that said? I'll have to look that up. Wow. Crazy. Don't know what he meant, because I didn't never heard anything about that. Anyways, all right, let's see. Liberty stacking, now it's all dirty after laying in the grass. I had a little bit of grass, I had to brush it off, but it's all good. The silver will survive. Silver will survive. Michael Martin says, South Channel's blowing up. Man, I don't want dynamite in it, man. I don't know. All right. Fabian is working on a vaccine, too. A mushroom vaccine. Cool. Hail and victory. Monkey King. All right. Biden equals Antichrist. And Terrell is here. Hello, Terrell. The one and the only. The lovely Terrell. Good to see you. She's got a great channel. I missed her last Monday live, but she is a wonderful, amazing singer. And dudes and dudettes, you got to check her channel out because she is a, an up-and-coming artist. And literally, she did a music video and a production of a song. I mean, that could, you could literally hear this on the radio. It's just, it's that good. It's that professional. The video, everything about it, it's just, it's it looks like a straight out of... Um, uh, you know, the music industry and just wonderful. And she's got such a talent. Her husband plays guitar and it's the good stuff. So definitely check her out. A wonderful lady. Really cool. All right. And uh, I need to check out. And she does. She posts live streams. She'll sing for you and have fun too and everything like that. Good stuff. All right. All right. Bong rips for, for Salivate, says Justin Sartain. All right. Now that, believe it or not, this is a slurp. I've never tried a bong or marijuana at all. <laughs> anyways, but anyways, all right, very good. So let's see. Okay, so Liberty Stack, we got that one out of the way. Richie Rich says collectible silver is hard to sell. When the silver market is an uptrend, bullion is the way to go. And what is high now can go even higher. That's true. Exactly right. But there are some bullion pieces that I bought that were kind of um, engineered bullion with some really cool designs that I missed out on that I wish I would have gotten. You can't find them anymore. And it's just generic stuff, and I can't find them anywhere. Uh, let's see. I think silver bridges, I think, are done. Let's check out the markets. What are the markets doing now? They're all still down a bit, guys. Extending losses from Friday a little bit here. Not by a whole lot. Um, gold is down uh, just over a third of a point, or right at a third of a point, rather. Down $6.80 to $2,029, almost 2030 Silver is at $28.30, down 13 cents. Uh, took a little bit more of a hit. Took the hit, took the biggest hit of all the metals, but not by a whole lot, really. Platinum is down $3, but still at nine sixty-seven. It was over 1000 last week. Okay, very good. And uh, so platinum and then palladium is the only metal that's up. So there's where the markets are. They're relatively stabilizing here with these losses here. <clears throat> all right. Wolfie says, a uh, few channels are mentioning this. The flu and common cold are easily prevented by a low glycemic diet. Stick to fats and meats and cut out plants, specifically starches, carbs, and you'll never get ill. You, well, you know what, Wolfie? It's funny you mentioned that. I have actually tried to cut back on sweets and carbs, um, although I've not done as well quite so lately. But basically, I've lost a fair amount of weight doing that, believe it or not. But I need to get more fat in my diet. Um, and I do like meat, but yes, but that's pretty interesting. And I haven't gotten sick in quite a while, so maybe there's something to that. Ketogenic, says Stilla Stilla, or Zilla Zilla. Silver Steeler says, excellent video, my friend. I love shooting videos outside. I agree with you. My stack is a hedge against fiat currency, and as of now, not for sale. Thank you, Silver Steeler. I don't think he's still here, but dude... Silver Steeler does a great job of posting videos outside. Really good scenery when he does. It's awesome. All right, CCT is getting out of here. Or is getting early here. Have a great night. And promise to uh, make less typos next time. No, no, hey, no worries. CCT, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you posting that playlist. Um, very kind of you indeed. And uh, you guys should definitely check out CyberCurrent Twitter. He's got a great channel. He is the number one silver fake silver destroyer on the interwebs and he has the best quality in the original 
uh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher, Silver Slide. That's right, guys. CCT. Good stuff. Eat some bacon fat, says Terry. Okay, very cool. Keto is a pretty awesome diet, says Terrell. Cool. All right. Nice. Very cool. Stacking Stormtrooper is here. He says, quit telling lies. You are a carb lover. I'm home alone with the mini troopers. Got to get them to bed. Good night. Thank you so much. I'm a carb lover. I'm your carbo lover. Yes, Stacking Stormtrooper is the man. He is the only one who does a better impersonation of me than I actually do. Thank you, Stacking Trooper. I've actually used his um, his bottle opener to open up a thing. This is cool. And it's got it right here. Yes, indeed. This is the Stacking Stormtrooper bottle opener. Pretty cool thing. I got number 15. There's no other one like it. He is the man. Check him out too, Stacking Stormtrooper. All right, very good. All right, let's see. You need fat in your diet. That's right. And uh, hi, I'm no, I've learned that from watching Alone, by the way, on the History Channel. You guys ever heard of it? Terry says hello, but she didn't mean as much by it because she did it in all lowercase. Yellow, hey, thank you, Stacking Stormtrooper. Yellow, man, very kind of you, sir. Wow, that's cool. Tree time. That's right, Silver Heist. Appreciate that, Stacking. You don't have to do that, Stacking Zone Trooper, any of you guys. Man, very kind of you. Silver Down Under, only uh, thing bad about Leto is all the carbs. Okay. Whoa, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did you see that? Donald had New Mexico has accused Stacking Zone Trooper of being cheap, and he posted a $20 super chat in here. Wow. I tell you what. You guys, man, are crazy. Very kind of you indeed. Let me have a slurp. I need. I actually need some water. Because I have been kind of going nonstop here since I was... Dude, whoa. Oh, my gosh. Stacking Stormtrooper has just challenged Donald in New Mexico to a super chat challenge. Wow. Stacking Stormtrooper, are you drunk? What's going on with you? Wow, thank you so much. He's up in the ante for sure. Wow. Man. That thank you so much, that came from Trooper. Wow. Hello, Chief Lachief. I'm good to see you. This is definitely a first for me. Good grief. Stacking Storm Trooper, be careful. Whoa. You're getting up to Fabian levels now. This <laughs> are you okay? Wow. This is insane. Are you sure you haven't been drinking? It's raining super chats. Man. Wow. Stormy Daniels has done any money to sell. What? Yeah, I know. This is crazy. I could get nope, I'm sober. Alright, thank you, Stacking Stormtrooper. Good grief. I can never re man. I, this is just I am honored and humbled. Thank you, Stacking Stormtrooper. Man, what a guy. Uh maybe it's probably just to show up Donald in New Mexico, but I <laughs> tell you what, that is something else. You know, usually Donald, Donald in New Mexico would just call it kissing up. <laughs> Arthur Martinez says $99 is still cheap. Yeah, what's wrong with you? All right. It's got that rainbow going for you. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Le Petit Silver. It's like a rainbow. Man, there you go, Danny boy. Wow. Hello, Seth. Man, I'm just I'm just blown away by you guys. This is just great. But you know what? The fact that you guys are all here, make no mistake, it's your presence here that means the most to me. But you know, you have the velocity of money. Yeah, go figure. It's crazy. You guys are great. I I if I haven't surpassed the um uh the the goal for the equipment by now, I can't see how I'm not. I've had to have surpassed it by tonight's these live streams. I mean, are these super chats? So wow, yes, thank you. But anyways, back to my comment here. Uh, so Silver Steeler is a channel you are going to want to check out. Silver Steeler does videos outdoors, um, and the, the natural lighting is just great and wonderful. Much better job than I did on that. But anyway, Silver Steeler, so check him out. And winning, winning image photography, who I'm sure is probably has done a, a lot to kind of. Uh, um, uh, influence because she knows lighting, I'm sure. And she is a light upon the world. All right, very good. Good night, Stacking Stormtrooper. Thank you so much, my friend. Wow. Have a good night. 
And you guys that want to stay tuned, you want to talk about entertainment. If you want to see some real entertainment, subscribe to the Stacking Stormtrooper and especially watch his live auctions on Tuesday nights at 8.30 and Friday nights at 8.30. Actually, no, at just Tuesday nights now, I think. Tuesday nights, uh, 8.30. Whoa, whoa, did something just... Dude, whoa, oh my gosh, Fabian, Fabian, dude. <clears throat> I am, like, blown away. Wow, Fabian. Man, oh man. Very kind. I've got to have hit my goal. <laughs> so, Fabian has now just challenged Donald in New Mexico. Man, wow. Another $100 super chat by Fabian. Look at it. It's all across the board here. I've never seen this before. Man. You guys have... Fabian, I don't know what to say to you, dude. I, I feel like paid advertisement, says Terry. S oh, ST66 had a good auction, too. Very cool. That's right. ST66 has done some auctions, too. Very cool. But thank you so much. Yeah, the Stack Stormtrooper Bucket Brigade. Freedom Stacker, thank you, sir, for that super chat. Man, you guys are great. Wow. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's right. Winning English Photography. You're a good light. All right. Wolfie, what kind of equipment are you going to get for the channel with this wonderful newfound wealth? Uh, I'm going to do, it's a surprise unboxing for it. I have got to have uh, surpassed the, the goal. I've had to have far surpass it by now. But uh, um, I need to actually, timing is another issue with this thing. So I've got to figure out some stuff with it, but I hope to get it soon. Uh, definitely within, I'm hoping within the month here. Yes, I was blown away. That's right. I'm just, just surprised at this. It's, it's like a bidding war for Sal's heart. You know what? Just you being here touches my heart. You know what I'm saying? That's what touches my heart. Uh, but anything else is just a, a bonus. I'm just, I'm absolutely just flabbergasted. You guys, are, thank you so much. Man, wow. I'm definitely not worthy of that. That's for sure. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. This is amazing. Uh Anecdotal G says, I'm predicting a rocket ship if uh, if ASC reaches $50 premium when silver is a $35 spot. You know what? That ver I could see that happening. I very well could see that happening. Um, I may have a video on that topic soon. All right. Here you go. Uh, Blue says, favorite part of the video, the fat, cuddly kitty. Blue says, yes. Um, you know what? I don't do giveaways, Michael Martin, and it's not necessarily because of the financial situation. It's more of a privacy and legal issue around it. Um, but I may maybe sponsor some other giveaways somewhere else, maybe perhaps. I'll find some way to do something there for sure. Um, let's see here. Silver Down Under says, do you agree with collectibles increasing their price with spot? Um, so for some of them, they do. But there's others that don't, actually. There are some um, of those that are swallowed up by the spot price very close to it it's a good topic for sure might cover that in a video too uh all right there you go donald says i super chat challenge all right yeah no worries they're just teasing you donald they're just teasing you all right 50 push-ups sal 50 push-ups i've done i've done 50 push-ups tonight actually yes indeed all right very good. Mr. m, &M 911 says, if silver hits $50 again, I'm selling a lot of my silver. There you go. All right. Okay. Very cool. Let's see here. Der Kong says, when I first started PMs 15 years ago, went to my LCS, I had the cash to buy one gold eagle. I asked what the price was, and he quoted me what I thought was very high. It was a coin he pulled from a stack of used and handled coins. I asked him what the spot was, uh, price of gold was, and his response was, we don't care what the spot price is. I did not buy and left. I bought my first eagle online from Gainesville Coins and got great service and price. Wow. Yeah, some places are, you have to be careful. And uh, so, yeah. And, yep, it's just, but he was probably saying that um, it's what he bought for it, maybe, perhaps. But, yeah, anyways. Mm. Let's see here. Uh, that's right. He says he won't give us a bum rush for another hour. That would just be rude. Yeah. 
He's rude, Native. He's rude. I'm already rude. That's right. Last. So everybody's already, already saying last on this thing, and I'm not left yet. I'm not even allowed. I've announced that I'm leaving. Everybody's saying last already. I might as well get in on this, too. That's what we do, folks that don't know. Uh, at the end of each, uh, what happens was, is the, when I'm done with this, when, when I'm done with the live stream, it has to take a while to render or to process to stop the chat. So we all compete for last. So that's what happens. But hello, uh, Aaron Cross is here. Good to see you. Aaron Cross, by the way, the stacking kid, good channel, good guy. Uh, he actually has done a couple live streams that I've missed, but check him out, the stacking kids channel. A real cool guy. And uh, oh, if silver hits 50 bucks, Winning Image Photography and Silver Steeler will have a new monster box to sell. All right, very good. All right. All right, uh, Francisco Rodriguez says, Neither am I. Not selling he is. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, Silver Stanger, looks like the Easter Silver Bunny visited you. Yes, it does, especially at the very end. That's a good comment, uh, Silver Stanger. It's exactly right. So let's now, we've got... Uh, Let's see what the market is doing now. So we see uh, gold is down just a little bit more from the previous time we checked. The markets are reacting essentially to Friday's news about unemployment and, uh, and where things are in the strengthening of the dollar, at least somewhat of a strengthening of the dollar, perceived anyway. Uh, but gold is uh, down $8.30, down Almost a half a percentage point. A silver just over three quarter, about three quarters of a point down, down 19 cents now. And platinum is down three dollars. So there's where the metals are. We'll come back to those again here. We go through, through some of these comments. Jay Silver says, at the risk of sounding uncool, I will say that I did sell some of my silver. I'm not going to say things like, why the hell would anyone sell their silver? I will never sell my silver, or might as well bury my silver with me because I'm never selling it. If anyone wants to know why I sold some of my silver, I will tell you because I wanted to. Wow, mind blown, right? Yes. Well, Jay Silver, that's right. Everybody's got their own reasons for selling um, and for sure. So totally understandable. We're good. Silver Stanger is here. Hello, Silver Stanger. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. I just responded to your comment, which was great, by the way. The Silver Easter Bunny who visited you. It looks like that at the very end of the video. He's referring to the very end. If you haven't seen that, check that out. By the way, while you guys are all here, I'm going to post a link to this again. This is something, if you guys get a chance to check this out, this is a playlist of videos. I think it's timely. I posted this quite some time ago. It's called SHTF and Silver. It's three videos, fairly short, but I think it gives some good information as to what Silver's role will be in such a scenario. Um, and uh, yes, indeed, how the role it will play there. And what happens is, is these live streams, I'm trying to like uh, go back, uh, check out or post an earlier video, kind of going back in the archives here for you guys. But anyway, it's very good. All right. All right, there we go. A tricky guy says a 17-year-old hacker has gained access to YouTube's Super Chat software and is right now posting in over a million live streams and bogusly donating large sums. Oh, man, that's what it is. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right, Fabian, did Fabian have to leave? Hi, have a great week. Thank you so much, Fabian. Man, you blew me away tonight. And thank you so much. Wow. Have a great week. Thank you so much, Fabian. Very kind of you indeed. Thanks for being here, though, too, man. Don't forget to email me, and I'll work on your, um, on your um, uh, emoticon there since you are a cabinet-level advisor now. That's right. Printer go burr. That's right, Matthew Elul. That's right. Okay, very good. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. So let's get back up here. Keith Corbin says, still stacking. Everyone has a personal sell price. Mine would be much higher. Yes, understandable. and Understandable, indeed. Natman, nice outro. Great video, Mr. Salivate Metal. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. He saw a very interesting furry creature at the end of this video. Graham Diamond says... I'm still holding sales, selling some of my profit to buy platinum. There you go. I expect prices to keep rising, so we'll not be selling in the near future. Super video and smashing information. Thank you, Graham. He's got a great channel, too. Check him out. He's from the United Kingdom, otherwise known as the UK. I don't know why they call it the UK. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. By the way, Josh is here. We wake up to silver, and it will be at $30, because right now it's at $28, $23. It's down a little bit. 
We'll come back to that momentarily. The Twisted Clown says that yard magically continues to grow silver. That's it. So much for weed eating that yard, right? My goodness. Keith Chirtwood says, same here, not selling, still stacking. My 12-year-old calls it treasure. To the new world we go with Captain Sal. There you go. Welcome aboard. Yes, indeed. All right. And uh, appreciate all you guys being here, by the way. And again, I apologize if I don't see your, if you have a ch uh, chat on the chat side, if there's anything addressed to me and I don't answer it. If you type Salivate Metal with no space in between Salivate and Metal, it'll turn orange and I'll see it if you have something addressed to me. Otherwise, uh, I may not see it, but I appreciate you being here. We have a busy uh, night here, so there's a lot of people uh, posting in the chat there. Art Best says, me either, so he's not selling either. Aaron Benson says, I've had the same strong feeling, an inner voice telling me not to sell even a gram of silver or gold. Something big is brewing. I can feel it in my bones. And you know, I thought the same thing in 2013. Boy, was I wrong then. But I've almost somewhat redeemed myself with silver, well, with gold, but not quite with silver yet. You know what I mean? Okay, all right, very good. Mark B just saw me mowing my yard. All right, there we go. Arg says the actual scientist. We've got to say, Arg, oh, hoy there, me mateys. I'm going to slurp me on some coffee here. Uh, thank you. Terrell is going to come back. Yes, we'll definitely be back soon. Thank you, Terrell. You are awesome. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Sell only response to Super Chats. No, I love all you guys. I love all you guys. By the way, Gold Chick is here. And I apologize if I don't meet you, but I want to I wanna uh, respond to as many people as possible. You guys are great. Salavate, saludos. Good health to you, Servio Dejci. Thank you so much. Sam Lick is here. Gold Chick got, my, got to set up my three-barrel NC Thumper. Hi, Gope Shine, still here in Zurich. Wati is good. Wood, cool. All right, Wati is in good wood. So still in Zurich. Switzerland. I guess she can't really leave because of the COVID thing, I guess. All right. Let's see here. Uncle Sal. Let's explore, says Sam Lick. The Black Betty is here. I take no legal advice for my advices, and you should definitely buy gold. Yes, that's kind of what I'm at do, at doing, doing that as well. Urbash. Bye, Terrell. Yes, take care, Terrell. Appreciate you being here. You are awesome. Terry's going to send me some Stormy Bucks. All right. Uh, and I'm going to take Donald to New Mexico's mercy. That's right. Uh, eat eat all your fish. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Eat all your fish. I appreciate you being here. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Nice. All right. Let's see here. Gold Chick says in this comment, silver, gold, and PGMs are money. Uh, well, you know what, though? I don't know. <clears throat> uh, gold Chick, I'm not sure about PGMs, platinum group metals. Um now, platinum has been used in coinage in Russia before, and obviously they are used to as for commemor for of coins for bullion, and they do have denominations on them or not. But I'm I'm wondering about that if 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 platinum is money or or palladium, uh, they might be, but they don't have the track record that gold and silver have. But let's say that for the sake of argument, they are. He says they were here before dinosaurs. Well, but gold, but platinum and palladium were only discovered in the late 1700s. And like I said, they've not really been tested like gold and silver has. It doesn't change. What changes is how many promissory notes it takes to acquire it. And that is very true. When empires collapse, the one with the most gold is, an, is the new reserve currency. That's right. Greece, Rome, Portugal, Spain, Dutch, English, U.S., China. That's right. All right, let's see here. So you're exactly right there, Gold Chick. Very good point there. Uh, Winter Wolf, 2012. Maybe at $1,000 an ounce, used as barter and less desperate for some reason. Yes. Well, and that uh, leads me to the playlist uh, video that I posted earlier. Um, yes, and these, you have, haven't checked it out. I'll probably post a link to that here momentarily again. Coins A to Z is still a silver buyer. I, uh, it wasn't too many years ago that silver pa blasted past forty dollars an ounce. At the time, not only was U.S. debt much, much lower, and it will be at the end of twenty twenty one, and the U.S. economy has never been more fragile than it is today. That's true. Uh, but you know, it's crazy. It's down 
but is it out? We'll see. God sees all. I'm not selling my gold. I'm actually going and getting 15 more ounces on Monday. Silver is good, is good, but all JP Morgan has really flooded the market and all these cents of silver. Good look for gold and see how hard it is to get. You guys should be trading in silver for gold right now. Okay. Yeah, I, there's different opinions on this, but I've heard somewhat of the opposite. I've heard that gold, because gold premiums are down now. Um, and you can go to a lot of these bullion dollars and find it. Um, it's expensive. But anyways, but anyways, let's see here. Okay. Hitting for contract says five decades in silver, and I'm still fascinated by it. Awesome. Amazing. This guy has been doing it a long time, hitting for contracts. And he's a dealer, too. He knows his stuff. Thank you, sir. Joseph Postma says, let's face it, everyone has expected, everyone expected that ending. That's right, Joseph. Yeah, there you go. You got it. If not, you did. Okay, thanks, Jeff Colney. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for popping in, Jeff. Sorry I missed talking to you a little bit on here. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Coney, appreciate you. All right. Probably around $12,000 sitting there. Yeah, there may be. I didn't add it up. It very well could be around that much. Uh, Liam B. says, I bet that silver's getting hot out there. Yes, it was. In fact, story behind this video. I may actually post a... Uh, I may actually do a behind-the-scenes story about that video if it gets... Things. All right, a winning image photography has got to go. Our cats are begging for dinner. Got to feed the cats. Got to be priority number one for the kitties. Thank you, winning image photography. You and Silver Steeler are great. Thank you so much for being here. Silver Ice has got to run too. Metal's holding up, looking good. Let's see what they are doing. And really, even though they're down slightly, for all intents and purposes, they are holding up under the pressure. So that's exactly right. Thank you, Silver Heist. There they are, 2028.70 for gold. Silver's down 13 cents. So holding their own, but only nominally down there. Campstar 9669, back in the day when I was a baby, an older gentleman gave my mother a silver dollar because of how quiet and well-behaved I was. Uh, taped in my baby book ever since. That's the only ounce of metals I own until 40 years old. Probably circulated tone and all that valuable. But after going to my own research, I have found a newfound appreciation for the value of metals as money insurance. In these insane times, insurance is something you don't want to be caught without. Well said, Champstar. And that's how I look at it. That's exactly how I look at it. Well said. Tim Friendridge says, I'm selling 50% of $50. That's been my strategy for nine years, and I'm sticking to it. Very good. He has planned for this. Very good. All right. Although $50 nine years ago was a much different thing than it is now. Keep that in mind. When you go sell there. Uh, hello, Silver Nitrate. Good to see you. Welcome in, Silver Nitrate. Hello. All right. Thank you, Zilla Zilla. God bless y'all and your families. Thank you. Uh, yes, I will post the link again at the end of the video, Colorado Kid. Thank you for reminding me for the SHTF and silver. Uh, stay tuned for that at the end. Um, in fact, I may even... I think the reason why those videos weren't watched as much is because I... The title was probably wrong. It really should be Silver and SHTF. Partial Health says, Martial Health says, not Partial Health, Martial Health. I thought people only got this stuff so they can feel like a pirate. Arr, arr, hoy there. Stack it high and wide. Thank you so much, sir. Gold Maple says, I can guess without watching the video, Silver is not going to going up by a lot. So it makes sense to hold on to your silver. You have to wait until the prices of a rise is, say, maybe $50 an ounce or higher than at that time sell. That's right. And it just depends on what you bought it for and what your purpose is. People have different strategies for stacking. And none of them, are, are, are most of them, I guess, um, are not wrong per se, but they may differ in some ways. Gary Lanave, the premium should be the reason not to sell. That's, yeah, you keep that in mind, true, exactly right. Okay. Gold Maple says, I sold my gold. I made over $3,000 in profit, congratulations. Gold may be going down. I saw a lot of people selling yesterday. The guy I sold my gold to was bombarded every hour by people. He was so busy paying out checks as people sold their gold. Wow. Man. That's crazy. Uh, silver Stanger, thank you so much, my friend. He says, thanks for the awesome silver prices. You are the man. Well, Silver Stanger, thank you. You are the man. You did good. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. I love enjoy your weekly pickup videos. You guys definitely check out Silver Stanger. Uh, a great um, a great channel, great guy. 
For sure. All right. Here we go. All right. So uh, we have been requested. We're getting close to the end of this coffee, and I've been remiss. I should be slurping more often for Barbara. Here we go. A native will probably call it a, a bong hit or something. All right. Appreciate all the new folks popping in. I appreciate you being here. We do this every Sunday night. We check the markets and see what they're happening. You got a beautiful lawn, says Philip Quinn. Oh, if you only knew. This is just one small patch. I'm horrible at lawnscaping. You did see me mow part of it. Uh, I think last summer or so I did a live stream while I mowed the yard for a little bit. Honest question for you. With just what you have showing in this particular video, if you had to GTFO now, no time to do anything else but save your own life, in the silver in this video, how would you carry and transport that much silver? I knew you have way more than so this, collector coins and such, but silver is a very heavy metal. Just curious about how you would bug out with a few pounds of silver. Well, Mor Morbid Mike, you make a great point, and that is one of the drawbacks, and that's actually one reason why I have shifted to a little bit more, to getting more gold. Storage is an issue, and even for the gold, some of that stuff with the packaging of being a collector, I gotta just whip it out of the packaging. If I gotta get, if I gotta hightail it out of there, you know what I'm gonna grab? It's gonna be gold. I'll probably leave all the silver behind if I gotta if I gotta skedaddle in a hurry. You know what I mean? So let's hear. Let's take another slurp here. Hmm. Ah. So let's see here. Okay. Paul D. says, my wife is in shock that I sold some Saturday. She said she thought it would go up, but I always told her, I just say, told you so, and not sell. Got to take the profits and increments. Yeah, very good, Paul D. Play it, sell it incrementally. Uh, terrorist selling, I call that. Nice video, says Oswald Meza. Thank you so much. As we move on up the comment chain here, Gold Maple says, I think the gold and silver are both going up in the long term. However, both are very volatile. There's news a few days ago that over 400,000 jobs were created in the U.S. That caused a drop in both gold and silver. Also, an increment of subsidies signed by the president caused a drop in prices. That's right. I think that was played a part in it as well. I think it did sign an executive order late at night after those markets closed. When I look back, I made a lot of mistakes, and I have too. I've made plenty of mistakes. One of them is on YouTube for all to see. My largest gold and silver unboxing ever was a mistake, for sure. Still is a mistake, even though gold is far surpassed what I paid for it. In hindsight, it probably was a mistake. Uh, Daniel McLaughlin, actually, no, it's not. If it's going to be sponsored by any coffee company, it'll probably be Black Silk Coffee. And by Folgers, but I digress. All right. We're just going to heart these by Gold Maple in a hurry here. Part time preppers who posted a video in a long time just recently here. From vacation, the pedal metals of retirement insurance for us, and hopefully we'll like to pass much of it down, especially the pieces that we've had some emotional attachment to. However, in saying that, if silver gets up into the high 30s, I would consider dumping some rolls of constitutional and bars, especially once dirt cheap years ago. Likely would reinvest good topping as usual. Thanks, part-time preppers. Wise move for sure. The lovely seduced by silver says, my silver isn't mine to sell. 90% was uh, bought for my children grandchildren's inheritance and it's hard to believe that she's a grandma but she actually is believe it or not if they need it before i die in a real collapse then they can choose to sell barter to help them survive another great video my friend hope you're well doing well always good to see you thank you so much eric says i thought your largest silver unboxing was your solar panels oh yes that's right that's right eric i i i i stand corrected that is my largest silver unboxing but my largest gold and silver unboxing together but you make a great point as Monkey King smokes a cigarette for us right above there. Silver Liner, uh, what, was your, what was in your last package? Ooh, man, that's a personal question. You don't want to know what's in my pack. No, I'm kidding you, Silver Liner. Um, uh, my last package uh, that I unboxed, just scroll back through my videos. I think I unboxed a, um, man, you know, it's been a while since I've done an unboxing. I forget. I don't know. Hello, Julian Bullion. Good to see you. Let's finish this coffee right now. Mm. Complete with grit of um, cinnamon there. Does your mommy make you wear a COVID mask? Yes, she does. And she makes me stay in the basement. Silver britches, actual seven ounces. All right. Did I tell you guys to check out Silver Britches channel? You should. Great guy. Great channel. 
it. He's been killing it. It's amazing. The views he gets. I'm jealous, actually, of Silverbridge's success. It's amazing. Silver holds the future. Hello. Good to see you. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, Kuna Coin says, I'm starting to believe you will never sell, and there's nothing wrong with that. Well, thanks. Well, I mean, there may be a time. Never say, I never say never. I'm just not selling a lot of some of this stuff. Anyway, Day Stacker is here. Hello, Day Stacker. Welcome, sir. All right. Yeah, V75. Hi, Steve. We're looking forward to seeing when those things are going to be released. Those are both going to be hot coins. They're going to sell out within five minutes or less for sure. No question about that. Bottle opener from Stormy. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Danny L says, I see a lot of people selling silver right now. Not me. I'm in it for the long run. Me too, partner. Partner? Yeah, that's right, partner. I'm in it too. Trump win does not necessarily mean the U.S. economy will rebound. He has put a tariffs on many countries, including China, and have responded in kind. 10% uh, tariff on Canadian aluminum, despite the free trade agreement signed between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. I believe free trade is free trade. He should not be putting tariffs. He's not a man of principle. You cannot take him uh, at his word. Well, I don't know what happened for the uh, with that trade situation. I don't know if it was in retaliation to what maybe Trudeau had done. I'm just not sure the backstory behind it. Um, but, uh, you know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, Gold Maple. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, ideally, you're right. It should be free trade, and both nations should honor that. And uh, I don't know what was going on there with that. Um, uh, if he's violated the uh, USMCA, yeah, that's not good. But we'll see here. All right. All right. Uh, Wolf Wee says, DC power from panels need to be converted to AC but for feeding back into the grid. I assume that's right. That is, that is right, Wolfie. I had to get an inverter to do that. Have a good night, media man. But I do sell power back to the power company. It's not a whole lot, but I get um, a small check every year. Very small, but all right, let's see here. I'll trade, but not sell, Emerald. There you go. All right. Ananda Manana says, gold and silver are your treasury. Dollar bills are guards. Make sure your guard ranks are stacked deep to protect your treasury. There you go. I like the way you put that. <clears throat> Florin S, those Ingerhard bars will make me salivate for days to come. All right. Glad you like those. As we move our way up the comment chain here. An elderly couple, Gordon Becker, knew, had a huge cash stash of silver from the 50s. The husband sat because he worried about inflation. He died about 10 years ago. A son and daughter-in-law moved the old lady into a small home where she continued to age and diminish. The kids took possession of the silver. The daughter-in-law and mother had no use for each other. They fought and almost seemed to hate each other. A while back, the son got cancer and died. Very sad. The old mother asked the daughter-in-law for her silver. The girl refused and said no. It would do her no good. So she, she told her she had plenty to exit on her the Social Security. She reminded her that she needed to be broke to get Medicaid help. Soon she did get a nursing home for a couple years. Then she passed. I guess she really didn't need the silver. Then the girl can now sell the silver and live it up. But the whole picture of how this occurred smells of theft to me. There are some grandkids by another sibling. Uh, passed with a daughter. Does anyone think they'll see the smell? That sounds kind of convoluted. It's a sad family story for sure. But sounds like people really didn't understand the value of silver in that family. All right. Anything to have less bills. That's right, Wolfie. That's right. Exactly. All right, where are we at? Mikey, the Zinga hard bars and the grass look like tombstones. Yes, they do kind of look like that. Good point. Very true. Aaron Cross says, I will always be buying silver and always use the versatility it possesses. For this moment, I used it to upgrade my wealth. Very good. Nicely done. All right. <clears throat> How many ounces do you have now? You know, I don't... Since most of it's collectible, I would say... If I had 2,000, that's probably, that's probably, uh, um, I would say that's probably rounding upwards. I probably don't have, I might have 2,000 ounces, maybe. 
Maybe. That's enough for me. Uh, pen this full. Will I sell a small part of my stack at $100 an ounce? I will sell a small part of my stack for $100 an ounce. Sorry, guys. I've been going for over two hours here now. I've not really stopped talking. I know some people too much. People sh chagrin. I know Donald would like me to call a scammer, but they don't answer on Sunday nights. I wish they would. Silver Magnolia will not sell my silver as part of my savings. A rise in price only increases my silver's value. Therefore, I'm making real money. In addition, there's also savings outside the fiat banking system, which is important to me. I fault no one for selling some or all their metal. Whatever you do, just be 100% sure it's in your personal best interest. That's right. You have to weigh the situation for yourself, each one in its own ways. All right. Let's see here. David Bennett says, don't settle for the crumbs. The whole leaf is almost here. Keep stacking. There you go. Silver Dollar says, good commentary. To sell into cash profit only makes no sense to me. My focus on taking the current opp opportunity is a convert to gold base and a low ratio. Hardship and retirement coverage are why I stack in the first place. Set a tangible goal and stick to it. Wise words from Silver Dollar. Anthony G says, I remember the history on that 10-ounce poor bar. You still keep it in touch with Baggins? Is he still around the community? He was a really generous person, to say the least. Yes, I have not heard from him in quite a while. I think I did send an email out to him some time ago, and I've not heard back. I hope he's okay. Uh, preview of, of, of coming videos, topic areas, possible titles, or whatever hints might allure us. Make us slaver, a slaver. Uh, yes, it's a marathon tonight, uh, Colorado kid. That's true. Tricky guy. I have a video that I'm going to upload soon that uh, is going to be talking about a recent purchase I made. Uh, very interesting. And it will probably be published tomorrow morning. So you guys, everybody watching this live stream, stay tuned tomorrow morning sometime for a video that I'm going to be uploading probably as soon as I'm done uh, here tonight. I recorded it earlier today. And that is something. There's another few other video topics that are down other than regular news stuff that I'm going to probably be working on here. And uh, one of them actually may cause a lot of thumbs down. I, I already predicting it probably will, but it is what it is. All right. Good to see strong man, silver and gold. Welcome, sir. Good to see you. All right. Eric Flores says, Sullivan Meadows, what did you have? What did you have me banging my head at the end of that video? I like some sad trumpet. Yes, that's a secret what that was. Yes, indeed. Okay, GSR, thank you. Joey, thank you. Here is where the markets are now. Gold is dropped 0.31%, uh, 2029.50. Silver has dropped 14 cents. But look where the s silver to gold ratio is. It is now under 72, 71.98. That's right. Crazy, crazy, crazy indeed. All right. Silver liner. Hasta luego, mi amigo. Me encanta este canal. Buenos noches. Have a good night, my friend, Silver liner. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get back here again. Silver liner, I hope you check out my series called SHTF and Silver or Silver and SHTF. I'm going to try to change those titles after a while, but thank you, my friend. Tomoko's Enterprise, wise words. I'm still sitting pat. Uh, looking at this in wonder, I was still, if I was a sell for spot, it would pretty much double my investment or more. Nice job, Tomoko's Enterprise, but I know you'll probably keep yours too. I see no problem with taking profits off the table, PB King says, and no worries. I can understand that too, for sure. All right. Gold dropped because uh, Barbara went to go feed her cats. That's right. Mike Reynolds says, I look at how the price has been manipulated to stay cheap for so long. In that respect, I believe it is an investment. Or when they lose their hold of grip on the price. A lot of people feel the way you do, Mike, on that. Thank you for your thoughts. ASMR Charlie wanted to share this with the community. I just sold 150 Eagles at JM and locked in at 3276. I still have a decent amount of silver that I'm not selling. But honestly, I chickened out. Just seeing what they did with the premiums. The spot price dipped below 12. I was angry. My feeling is you'll continue to increase premiums when I buy and decrease what you pay when you sell. Well, it's understandable. You know, you probably just want to take that out because of what you feel about that. And, and I can understand that. Surely can understand that. And by the way, you still have some of your silver. So, all right. Pinnacle, I just can't get over your impartiality. You have even more silver than me, 
but you're not really out here pushing the product. Come on, brother, pump up your stack. Triple digits over may soon be a reality by the U.S. debt clock. Well, thank you, Pinnacle, for recognizing that. I try to be even keel with that regard, um, for sure. But I have done videos on, in fact, I have a, a series of videos about the debt clock. Um, and I explain what that price means, or what that number means, anyways. Uh, Michael Ramsey says, Sal, if you do sell, give her the worst of it. Keep your eagles are 30 bucks. I might sell a small amount just in case it goes down, then buy back. Okay, yeah, good. People do that as well. Uh, they wait for the dips, buy, sell at the highs, and buy back at the dips and make money that way. It's a little risky, but I can understand and see. Bookyard Doms has a metal and a moon and a rocket on this silver, a silver, a golden opportunity video. Mark Hazley says, let me guess, too nice of a patina on this silver round. Yep, I want to hang on to those two, find some ordinary, uh, either shiny or messed up silver spot that trade. That's right. Exactly right. Hello, Gina R. Good to see you. Fabian is back. Good to see you, Fabian. Wow, he came back. Man, and his super chat thing's still up there. That's crazy. Him, He's in competition with Stormy over there for that super chat. Fabian, thank you again for that. I'm still just flabbergasted, amazingly blown away by that. Drain the Swamp 2.0 says, I'm not selling mine either until at least it approaches what's on the debt clock. Wow. Well, you're going to be, I think, waiting quite a while, Drain the Swamp. But uh, I guess that means you can hold on for quite a long time. Personally, I have junk I said for SHDF and Shining for as needed. My trades are in equities and options. Those I will sell as I see fit, reinvest, rinse, and repeat. Well, it's funny you mention that, Mark Hazley, because that leads me to the series, the playlist that I recorded, recorded, quite, recorded quite a while ago called SHTF and Silver. I'll post a link to that here momentarily. Hello again, Gina R. Good to see you. And Four Nines Find Silver is still with us, and so is Sam Lick. All right. Very good. Uh, well, thank you, Fabian. He says, well-deserved. I don't know. I don't feel worthy of it. But I appreciate you, sir. Very, very kind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Fabian. Donald, didn't, while you were gone, <clears throat> Donald sent $500. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He didn't. <clears throat> Don't forget the thumbs up, says Jamie Fox. Thank you, my friend. Rebel Lucy, those big angle hard bricks look awesome. Thank you so much, says Rebel Lucy. Thank you. Joseph, I would be happy to come by and mow your lawn. Do not pick up anything. I will do it. You just kick it back and relax. All right, Joseph. There you go, brother. I have a feeling that some of the shiny won't be on that ground after you mow, all right? Kevin Roth, if I sold my silver, I couldn't afford to buy it back. Couldn't imagine restarting a silver family. All right. Don Armando says, well, sounds a bit silly. I mean, who would sell silver now just because it appreciated a few bucks? While it's still 72 to 1 versus gold, that should not even be a question. Well, for some people, though, it is. And they have different reasons for selling. But thank you, Don. Emerald LX says, I just purchased, purchased a 10-ounce Platinum 2003 Eagle for $180. Wow. I don't know if that was good or bad. I think that was a fairly decent deal. But it was the cheapest on eBay and zero available anywhere else. I think you did good on that one. This is on the why Platinum prices could explode soon video. Time to Dream says, if the ratio goes to 35 or 40, I might start to think about trading over. I'm getting the gold bug, but watching silver rise in popularity is so much more exciting. Yes, it is exciting to watch, for sure. Uh, for sure. All right, let's see here. What about SHTF and Platinum, says the Platinum Beast? Yes, that would be interesting. I ought to do one on gold, too. Yes, uh, Silver Liner. Yes, I will do. Okay, yeah, because he's leaving. Okay, here it is. All right, here is the playlist to watch. For you guys, this is for Jim Farrell, for Colorado Kid, and for Silver Liner. This series of videos, they're relatively short. It's called SHTF and Silver. And I'm probably going to change that title to uh, Silver and SHTF. Just reverse the roles of them because I do... Th uh, the, they didn't get a whole lot of views, but I think they it really uh, outlays in a thoughtful way how... Um, um, silver will play a role and the kind of silver that will play a role and surprising remarks about gold in that regard too. So let's get back up here to the comments here. Because what I do in the live streams I'm going to try to do is go back to an old video, kind of a retrospect from an old video um, that you guys might find interesting. 
from days gone past. Robo Smith, I bought some low premium one ounce coins. Is it okay to polish it? Um, I wouldn't. I would just, you know, if you find one or two of them that you really like and you feel like polishing them, you know, you're not going to hurt the value unless you scratch a whole bunch of the silver off. But um, um, you would dip it probably. I would probably dip it maybe. You can get something called Easy Est and you could dip it in that. That's what I would do. I'd dip that, dip that stuff. Tony Tiedemann says, my silver bar says Ingolsoft. Is that okay? It sounds like it needs some um, Viagra, right? You know what I mean? That's right. I love that. Republic Cuban says, platinum is 30 times more precious a metal than gold and 300 times more precious than silver on planet Earth. There's only two major platinum mines, one in South Africa and the other one in Russia. All the platinum ever in history could fit in your living room. That's true. Platinum requires up to 12 tons of ore. That's right. You're right on all that stuff. Um... Just wait till platinum inventories go to zero. Plus, I carry my kilo of platinum in my pant pockets if you need a forklift. Wow. like to see that um, kilo of platinum. That's pretty wild. Seven years ago, Tricky Guys says silver was at $28 an ounce and then and went all the way down to 11 bucks in a few years. We could be at the top right now and then go, and then down we go. That's why I'm being very careful about... Um, uh, you know, going along with everybody else in the community for saying gold is silver is going to go fifty hundred dollars and parabolic. Not necessarily that I think it's going to go down to eleven dollars again, but we could be near the top. But I think it's going to go up even higher, tricky guy. I really do think it's going to go up higher than now, um, but maybe not so much uh, where it went before. But anyways. Woofie, dip some copper rounds in vinegar, let them overnight. They they look like crap, consistent all around, but not shiny. Ah, okay. Avoid the vinegar. I use Dippity Doo on all my PMs. Ah, I never heard of Dippity Doo. It almost sounds like a joke. Hello, John C. Allen. Good to see you, by the way. All right. Joan A. says, giving up on silver would be like declining a date with a young Sophie Loren as an alpha male. Oh. Huh. I don't know who Sophia Loren is, but I take it she's hot. Miss Westford says, you want to have silver or gold when the U.S. dollar collapses. That's right. Very true is that. Uh, Alien Grade says, and the biggest idiots that are into Bitcoin or another faith-based system, New York just had an electrical blackout, for God's sakes. What do you think happens to your Bitcoin when you're losing electricity or viruses or identity theft? Well, I guess why some people say the the Bitcoin a wallet, uh, the hard like the little thumb drive thing, will protect that. Um, but I but I get your point. I certainly understand it. Justin Sartain says I always have some silver, but we'll be trading it for gold when the ratio improves. All right, there you go, Justin. And I talked about that on the silver op gold silver provides a golden opportunity. Steve Rivera laughs at this video. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate that. He was a super chatter tonight, too. All right. Uh, Charles Yang, just like toilet paper two months ago. That's right. Just like toilet paper two, young, two uh, years ago. Okay. Uh, so Fabian says 50 years ago she was hot. So this girl lady here, uh, Sophia Loren was hot 50. I have to look her up. That's cool. All right. Let's see here. All right. Fiat Destroyer says... I'm pretty tickled with a good jag of silver I got yesterday under spot. Well, Fiat Destroyer, yeah, you're you're singing my tune there, brother. Well job. But I didn't get a good jag of it. You did better than I did, it sounds like. Base Singler says, I think silver will take off once manufacturing gets back to 100%. Yes, I think it very well could, too. There's good, good arguments for that as well. Physical wallet is really just a globally unique identification string. It's still dependent on the grid system coming back alive. Yes, because you can't really do anything with it if you can't plug it into your thing. That's right. Good point, Wolfie. I think it's more about protecting it until they get the grid back online, right? And those things can be pretty expensive. Okay, Barbara Carbone loves Sophia Loren. Beautiful, cool. Okay. Anybody remember toilet paper roll when it was above silver spot price? Yes, that's right. I do. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my gosh. Think about that. The Silver Co., those Inglehart bars look so good. Great video. Thank you so much, the Silver Co. 
We have a sunset here on some of these uh, videos here. Kevin W., I was at my local coin dealer on Saturday. There was an equal amount of sellers and buyers in this establishment in the couple of hours I was there. The buyers were purchasing larger amounts of silver than gold. I loaded up on silver at $2 over spot, and his inventory of silver is huge. Trays of 5 and 10 ounce bars, as well as rounds. Eagles are $7 above spot. His prices blow away the online players. I have picked up gold at spot, which is a preferable way I like to get it. One more thing, he is paying spot when you sell back. But I'm in no hurry. I'm enjoying the metals market too much now. Very good, Kevin W. It is quite a ride indeed. All right. Uh, Native says, do a video on cleaning coins with lasers. I saw it on TV, but don't remember what show. Ooh, interesting. I wish I had some lasers. I was at lasers. I would do that. I use an honest Amish beard cream on my silver. Ah, okay, Joey. Honest Amish beard cream. That's interesting. Joey, speaking of, I bought two 100 ounce Ingle bars, uh, silver bars in 81 when spot price was nine bucks an ounce. Today's silver price is why I hung on to mine. There you go, Joey. Great job. And that was actually a pretty high price because I remember much later it went down to four or five dollars an ounce. Monkey King, how are you going to buy uh, food with a thumb drive while the grid is down three months, six months, nine months? Good point, Monkey King. Very good point indeed. You're right. If you need to spend that Bitcoin or convert it to cash or whatever, you're stuck with it if the grid is down. That's right. Joseph O'Kane, thank you so much. Yes, lawnmower is all ready. There you go, Joseph. Thank you so much, sir. Canadian1399 Super Chat. I appreciate that. Very kind indeed. He uh, uh, He's ready to come mow my lawn for me for all that silver. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, let's see. Sophia was well known in the early 70s. Okay. I need to check her out. Yeah. Man. She was born in 1934. Okay. Yes, indeed. Pardon my ignorance on that. I'm sure she was lovely. All right. Uh, Nippon Kapoor says, I'm just wondering why we get blackness on the edges of some silver coins. I saw on some of your stack. I have two. That is tarnish. Uh, silver gets tarnished and toned. And that's essentially a kind of tarnish, and it reacts to sulfur in the air and other chemicals and oxidation, oxygen and the like. That's what causes that. Um, silver is very reactive, even though it's the most reflective metal on the periodic table. It is also very reactive. Um, so some people like that. Others don't. So anyways... Charles Yang, uh, just like toilet paper one month ago. That's right, exactly. Boom, you got it. Uh, Desert Tracker says, I sold my war nickels, two rolls, 40% Kennedy's, three rolls, a mixed sandwich bag of Canadian silver coins for 340 bucks. I tried this in 2011. It was a hard sale because of condition of coins, but now they went like hotcakes. Wow. Interesting experiment how you did that. Wow. Well done, indeed. Okay, Fat Vegan says, awesome. Thank you, Fat Vegan. I appreciate you, sir. Yeah, though, you're not the only one I know that still uses that term. All right. I'm trying to think of what term I was referring to on that. All right, let's see here. Gen 913 is here. You can make it brand new with baking soda and boiling water. Okay, I'll have to try that. Uh, next sale will say he doesn't know Dean Martin. That's right. But I don't know who Dean Martin is, but I do know who Robert Mitchum is. Robert Mitchum is an up-and-coming new actor on the scene. <clears throat> so you you old-timers will not have whole, ever heard of Robert Mitchum. I'm losing my voice here. What about turning all the fiat numbers into blockchain code that allows a currency to be redeemed at spot prices? Ah, That'd be an interesting concept to take. Cactus Jack says, Uncle Sal runs into the house and uses the bathroom. Neighbor's nearsighted kid mows his lawn. Well, Joseph was just in here, so Joseph is probably outside waiting to mow for me to go take a leak. Uncle Sal is last seen crawling under his lawn with tweezers. Neighbor's kid is still in hiding. Good observation and advice. Well, Cactus Jack just predicted Joseph's lawn mowerage here. May the Schwartz be with you. If silver is to preserve wealth and wealth of concentrated time, then how much does it take to extract silver from here 
from the order to the finished product market price is notwithstanding. Oh, man. Uh, when, you, when you take into account time and everything like that, and time is money, and the mining companies have to make money, that's a good guess. As a byproduct of other metals, some say it's anywhere between 3 to $6 an ounce. As a primary product, it's anywhere between 11 to $14 an ounce. All right, very good. A.J. Apreich says, I love that silver has performed poorly for 10 years. Have us time and opportunity to buy a lower fiat. Yes. That's right. It does give us some times. Stacking Short Trooper says, because you are insane in the membrane. Yes, indeed. All right. Sal, sell some, Sal. Then gold it up, buddy. Yes. I know. I probably should. I probably should. Thanks, Stacking Storm Trooper. All right. Sooner 54. Agree. It's a savings plan. Problem is, when you keep it for some time, you need to weed it or get it overgrown. Yes, indeed. That's right. Got to do it. On the could gold help stop COVID-19 video, Paul Richards, when I'm going to get my order for the silver bubble bath. When I'm going to get my order. Well, yes, hopefully soon. Paul Richards, hopefully soon. I'm so old. How old am I? Well, I used to babysit Robert Mitchum. There you go, Joey. All right. Yes, indeed. Uh, yes. Well, Sam Lick, I can't call a scammer because I'm filibustering. No, Mark B. Actually, it's because most of them don't answer the phone tonight. Well, should we get expect a new generation of YouTube silver stackers, much like 12 years ago? I think we will. I think once this excitement really picks up, we might see some new folks coming in. I've already started to see it. Some people saying, hey, a new silver stacker here and that type of thing. So, yeah. Johnny B. Good says, I mainly collect eagles as I was gifted 15 sets of silver eagles back in 2013. So each year I would buy a roll of eagles to maintain my sets. All right. Yes, very good. Good job. Bricktown Silver, Inca Hard, my silver of choice. Sadly, I don't have much. All right. Very good. Yes, well, hopefully you can get some more if you're interested in that. Uh, Johnny says, manipulation has made more people frustrated with silver more than anything. Yes, I know, or at least the perception thereof. Silver is an emotional metal because of manipulation. And I've talked about manipulation a lot. I believe there is some. Obviously, we have evidence of it happening. But you can manipulate it on the way up as well as down. Natural market forces, I believe, play a much larger role. But I'm in the minority on that one. Glenn H. says, when the GSR narrows to the point I feel that it is my advantage to convert to silver gold, I will convert it. Silver is not a long-term hold. And if you can trade it without selling it, that's not selling your silver, right? That would be the only reason why I'd sell my silver right now. With rapid price changes, we are all turned into amateur arbitrage sleuths trying to game the system. What chance any of us can really do that to arbitrage? That's right. It's a big gamble. It's a very uh, big gamble for sure. Uh, Fabian T, actually, I posted a video about that very subject um, and uh, uh, recently, just the other day, Fabian. It's called, where is it here? It's called, Can Gold Help Stop COVID-19? And Silver's Boost for Antibiotics. But I do talk about silver with COVID as well in that video uh, and the absence thereof. But check this video out. There's a lot of science in this. And it, it didn't really didn't get a lot of, I don't think it, it met the fee. It didn't really, uh, it didn't hit the algorithm. So there's not many views on it. But this has a lot of information and I think you might find interesting in there. All right. DW, your opening shot of the silver laying on the grass. It looks like you had a good crop this year. So money does grow in the grass, not in a tree. That's right. There you go. Master Stacker. I'm not selling any of my stack either. I own ETFs as well. The transaction costs are minimal uh, for these, so I sell it. All right, guys. We are going to go back to the market watch now. What is happening? Well, platinum is now up, guys. It is now in positive territory. But silver and gold are, are are down still. But gold is only down now by just un, just under uh, a fifth of a point uh, to 2032. Silver is at 2828. All right, we'll come back to that one more time before we end this tonight. Okay, and where are we at? Larry Anderson says, I traded 74 ounces of generic bars for one ounce gold maple. It was easy. Yes. Very cool. Congratulations for that trade. And Jason, if I were to speculate on some 
of the thought process of selling silver or gold might stem from the fact that both metals have an established long base of over five to seven years based with the charts. And jump up in price means that there are few buyers that have bought on inflated prices and therefore not many people bought too high. If I were to take a guess, the unknown variables that have plagued the U.S. economy continue. China trade dollar weakness, printing money, Fed statements for committing to low interest into the foreseeable future. Trump signing more executive orders for the relief. Election soon, Social Security unrest. Just a hunt for these factors. Thanks again. Thank you for your thoughts, Jason. Indeed. And guys, I'm getting, uh, let's see here. I think we're close to the top here. So let me see if I can make it through here. Whew, tell you what, it's been a long night. Trump, be cool. Referring to another video, is this what cryout rant meant by Metal Health? Way ahead of their time. Yes, indeed. Trump, be cool. I think so. Although this has been, a, yes, that's right. And to the other video he's talking about, where I talked about the uh, uh, can gold cure COVID. Four nines find silver. Greetings, everybody, from the Australian Silver Pour. That's right. And he does a really good job with the silver pours. Four nines find silver. I don't know if he's still in here. This is still live, author. We're still going, believe it or not. This might be the longest live stream I've ever done. And we've had the most views on this live stream. I appreciate every single one of you guys. The Real Cyber says, why I'm not selling my silver? Because it's going to keep going up. I really do believe it will, too. Um, but we may see pullbacks here and there. All right. Steve Woods, thoughts on the U.S. $5 commemorative? Sometimes I can buy online for less than spot. Yeah, good luck if you can find them for less than spot. Usually you can get them for a fairly reasonable premium above spot. Uh, but yes, indeed. All right, very good. Let's take another slurp of some water for Barbara. I think she, hope she's still here. And thank you, Sam Lick. I appreciate it. If it wasn't for the Hunt Brothers, says Liam B. Let's put a little thing on there. Colorado Kid, did you ever get a chance to check out the Red Green? Yes, I did, actually. I did watch just a little bit just to hear the guy's voice. And it is uncanny. I'd never heard of those guys before, so I did check it out. 203 still in the chat. We're slurping away still. Thank you, Barbara. You're awesome. Is Terry79 still here? She better be, or she'll never be last in this one. Huge like. I'm holding all my silver cents coin collecting fun. Good job. Great little channel he's got there. He's posting some really cool stuff. Just showing little silver and... Uh, uh, and coins, collecting notes and stuff like that on his channel. John Stewart says, silver is a buy at 20 bucks, sell at 30. Anything else is market manipulation. Okay. Thank you, John Stewart, for your thoughts there. Bullion dealers are stacking premiums $10 over spot for 2020 Eagles. I really wish you silver stackers would wake up, sell into the market, punish the dealers. And I tell you what, there's some words to say on that. But the thing is, are you going to sacrifice your silver for the dealers? The other thing is, is just to not buy or shop around big time. Be conscientious buyers. Conscientious buyers. Ghost Punk, good to see you, sir. Welcome. All right. It is what it is, says El Porcano, and it's not at the bank. PMs are like my vinyl albums. If I don't hold it, I don't own it. There you go. Good comparison to vinyl. Yes, indeed. Mr. Sting says, a matter of trust, Billy Joel. Well, yes, good song. I didn't know he played the guitar. I have eight of his 13 studio albums. I knew a kid he practiced on Luster Piano at home. He wasn't too fond of the brand. I'm not talking outside. What do you think of Billy as a guitar player? I'll have to check that video out sometime. Just a matter of trust. That's right. Good song. All right, let's refresh the comment section one more time. See how many comments have popped in here since we... Uh, started this live stream a fair amount of them and i'm not going to be able to get through these i hate to say it no way i'm able to get a couple more in ab xl's 2020 silver eagles for 40 bucks and now some newbie kids buy then silver crashes at 14 and 22 21. yeah you got to be careful for that you got to be be careful that could happen yes down in new mexico you've been challenged to donate uh, you better shop around helen ready that you better shop around four nines find silver still here from tomorrow, thank you. Whoa, El Porcano has just sent 10 New Zealand dollars for beer. Thank you, sir. Very kind of you indeed. Ah, very kind. Uh, should I clean my dirty silver eagles? Audrey, um, I would probably dip them uh, in easy S rather than clean them um, if you want to get them shiny. Uh, so yes, indeed. So, yeah, so check out 49's Find Silver channel when you guys get a chance. 
He's uh does some good pours on there. Silver Liner says, Sal, I love silver. And if I lev averaged out how much I paid for my silver, it would be just slightly above the current spot price. With that said, I keep it because fiat currency doesn't carry much weight. No pun intended. I love your channel and even your lines occasionally. When I go hiking in a group, I say, let's explore. Well, thank you. And I had to have some corny lines here, so thank you so much. All right, yes, indeed. Thank you, Gary Croft. Somebody else sent me a link to that. I will check that out later. Thank you very much, sir. Quakes Addict says, Silver Bull Market has just begun. Nice outdoor stash. Sal, thank you, Quake Addict. Trevor H. says, you're not selling your silver because you're giving it all away. Some people think for fiat ever depreciating that... Uh, that's that we'll be like giving your silver away essentially your your man real money it says ghost punk that's right there you go let's see where are we at and we got Hugh man says just be patient the dollar is going to fail i'm not happy about that but it is what it is well you know what i actually disagree with you on that one Hugh man now you might be right I'm not saying it can't happen but i don't think it's going to happen but i'll that more on that in another video but thanks Hugh man evil pikachu well said. Uh, we should all be rooting for the economy to improve no matter what. Truth be told, I just want to make money from my precious metals and get back to where I was financially before. I paid a lot for my family's medical emergencies despite them having enough money to pay for it. They've all chose to defund the loans to me just to support their own short-term flawed family business plan. Oh, I'm sorry you got squandered in that regards. Sometimes the people that hurt you the most financially are family members. Uh, so I hear you there. Uh, I just want to make my money back. I've lost. Well, I'm sorry about that. You've moved on in your life, and I do pray that you will because you were a good soul for help helping your family there, and you deserve to be rewarded for sure. Uh, LP Andy, no cats. Well, you didn't watch enough of this video. I hope you come back to this live stream to uh, get the uh, so that you can be uh, um, reminded to watch the very end of this video. Charles says, Charles Smith, that's why I always say you have to buy what you like and like your stack. Easier to keep things you like. That's true. Stacker collectors here. That's right. Exactly right. Sal is beer infused. I've not had any beer yet. You wouldn't, probably wouldn't know it by the way I'm talking. I know I've been fast here. It's crazy. All right. Alan J says, buy the dip, sell only to trade silver for a tank, MRAP, or Stinger. We all need those soon. Yeah, I tell you what, it's crazy. Some things going on in the world today. Medium and Sal, I closed the trade of silver for gold Saturday at the GSR of 71.85. I picked up three 9999 1.22 gold proofs. Three. So a lot of stuff he picked up there. Nice. It's some alchemy rather than an outright sale. There you go. Trading is different than selling. So if you can do it, then good job. That's amazing. All right. Here's another $100, Sal, from Donald in New Mexico. Oh, man. Well, who knows? You know, uh, Donald may have been savvy and sent me a PayPal donation. Let's see if he has. No pay, no PayPal, because those are not, uh, YouTube won't get a cut of that, or taxes won't come out of that. So that would be $100 free and clear from uh, Donald in New Mexico if he sent him friends and family on, on the PayPal donation link. But it's not there. I just checked. Nothing from Donald in New Mexico. All right, there we go. All right, Bob A says, I'm just teasing you, Donald. I'm, you know I'm just kidding you. I just have a little fun with you. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Bob A says, they are frustrated because they are either young or impatient. I bought it between 2011 and 12 or do not understand its use as a hedge. Of course, it will rise. Printing cash worldwide, no other choice. Still believe that they will confiscate or make illegal paying debt for business transactions. They're using PMs and sponge absorb the money from savvy people who are trying to prepare for retirement and the reset. The gold and silver will shoot to their real value in that time. Thanks, Bob A, for your comment. And guys, I have really come to the um, end of this here. Uh, once we see this video about this, I don't know. I, check, I don't know if that's spam or not, but I have to check that out later. Evil, evil Pikachu, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Oh, 100 pesos. All right, thanks, Donald. <laughs> that's funny. Tor Dog says, I see your problem. You should be buying like crazy when the price is up. That means you have massive equity to purchase with. Your strategies are completely backwards. Uh, okay. I'm not sure I get the criticism. I typically buy much less when the price is up. I buy more when the price is down. 
Mr. Buyer, heck yeah, it's a golden opportunity, but if you're going to trade the ratio, you need to make up your mind if you want to get gold, which has less uses and about seven times more abundant above ground for investment. I can make an argument both way, both for and against this. Um, I don't think that uh, silver or gold, by any stretch of the imagination, that gold is that much more abundant or any more abundant. I think it's rare all the way around. But, uh, I mean, silver has, gold has much less uses. Maybe it's got seven times less uses than silver. But anyway, but that's another argument. Thanks, Mystery Buyer. Steve Woods, thoughts on the U.S. commemorative, sometimes a buyer less. Yeah, then let me know where you find those for anywhere near spot. I've never heard of that. Well, in fact, the only time I've heard of finding them anywhere near spot is back in the good old days when you could get gold for quarter ounce gold for like nine ninety nine over. But I'm not seeing them under spot or at spot. Let me know, Steve Woods. Email me a link to something like that. Metal at gmail.com. I'd love to see it. William Cheney. Don't sell. Keep buying until it holds a 29. Hit 35 soon. Uh, Comex cannot deliver on dollar index hit 90. After next 2.5 trillion money printing, next stimulus. Okay. All right, guys. I'm getting uh, voices about to pop out of here, I think. Those Inga Hard 100 ounce bars are $3,300 on eBay. Might be worth the flip. Yeah, it might be. Shoot. That's crazy. Thank you. I ain't selling either, says Eli. Thank you, Eli. Ah. Let's see here. Although we'd like to hear others or your exit plan or similar partial, I bought a $20 an ounce. I have a debate on selling 10 for 20%. I doubled more of my spot price. I'm holding on as I'm solo guy. No family left to pass this on to. I sometimes wonder at one point when they sell some of it more in the next 25 years. Yeah, something to consider for sure. Think of that strategy. Okay, guys, I'm going to post this one more time. This is a series of videos that I did called SHTF and Silver. If you guys get a chance, I think you might find this very interesting um, because people are concerned about our times that we're living nowadays and what would happen in case there is some sort of a collapse or something like this. So this series here, uh, which uh, as we look at the markets here, as we close out this live stream here, uh, both gold and silver are down nominally. In fact, they're starting to kind of go the other way. They very well may go up before the night's out. But this light, this... Uh, this playlist here, SHTF and Silver, I'm going to probably switch that title around to Silver and SHTF. But this gives you uh, how silver will play a role, or what role silver will play in uh, SHTF. And it talks about gold, it talks about other things that are involved, and all the kind of things you should consider when taking into account in that kind of situation. Because I think some people may be surprised. I just thought it was something. And I recorded this quite a while ago. But it really didn't get much traction then. And uh, so I thought, you know, I forgot about a lot of the videos I published. I didn't realize I had actually, I've actually published more than 3,000 videos. And um, so there's a lot of stuff I've talked about and that a lot of people haven't seen. So rather than re-record these videos, I thought I'd share it with the community um, here on a live stream here. That's what we'll do. Uh, I'm going to try to do it on most every live stream. Maybe pick a video or a playlist um, for folks to check out in case they want to see some early, earlier content, some stuff that I've covered. And there are some of these newer channels I've covered even more recently that I've covered quite some time ago, but because of the YouTube's algorithms, people don't know they're there. And so people think, oh, you know, they don't know that Maybe I've talked about this two or three years ago or what have you. But anyways, so there that is. Um, well, guys, I want to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for uh, coming aboard here tonight. And thanks for being a part of this live stream. I appreciate all of the, those folks who have, uh, who have donated the Super Chats tonight. That should pull me over the top. <laughs> I can't see how it won't to get this new equipment, which uh, I've been want wanting to get for quite some time. And I appreciate all you guys being here uh for sure uh and a want to leave you with this piece of advice and that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground have a good night all a multitude of gratitude to you all and we will see you back here on tuesday take care